I'm Allison Moore. And I'm Kimmer James, and you're listening to the Triple X Porn Star Radio on the All Pleasure Network. This is Cocktails with Allison and Kimber, show live from Skid Row Studios. We will be with you for the next two hours. Our call-in number is 347-989-8838. Or you can listen to us live by going to www.xxxpornstarradio.com and click the Listen Live button. Oh my God, sorry. I just get into that song even though it's not that good. (laughs) I'm Allison Moore and we're here with our special co-host today, Miss Jenna J. Ross. Say hello. Hello. Hi. She's so (laughs) cute and sexy. I think I want to keep her. Um, Hopefully Samantha Grace is on her way because she's not here yet. So um, with that said, I was going to pull up my timeline on what we're going to do today. But anyway, I was going to ask you first until I get that open. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, so you're nominated, right? I am. For XBiz and? AVN. AVN. Yes. Dang, girl, that's better <laughs> than what I can say about myself. Uh, <laughs> that's the wrong notes. I don't want that. So tell me about your nominations. Okay, XBiz, I'm nominated for Best Supporting Actress for my movie Homecoming by Girlfriends Films. Homecoming, what was that about? I'm guessing there's lesbian sex involved. There is lesbian sex, but there's also boy-girl sex involved. Oh, yay, that's Actually. right. They started doing boy-girl scenes. Yep, under um, Biscos. Nabisco. Yeah. I say, I say Nabisco. You say Nabisco, yeah. Everyone has a different name for him. But, um, yeah, no, it's basically, there's a girl who has, she's played by Casey Calvert. She has... um a boyfriend slash fiance, which is Michael Vegas. Mm. They're coming home for the holidays and he's going to meet like the family. Be my boyfriend slash fiance. <laughs> yeah. And um, he, You're like, yeah. they come home for the, the holidays and it basically just unfolds that our family is really messed up in the head and <laughs> lots of sex and sues and nice. <laughs> it was a lot home of for the holidays, yeah. Don Sex. Have you seen that movie? Home for the holidays? I think so, but I may have been drinking because it was probably around the holidays. <laughs> yes, probably. Um, that sounds awesome. Is that the same one that's nominated for both Expos and AVN? I think so. I think it's nominated for Best Feature. I'm not really sure. I haven't really looked at the list too close. Uh, a whole bunch of movies <laughs> I was in nominated, but me specifically, no. Yeah, I was I don't, nominated I for Best that. POV on Expos. I was like, woo, I got something that's better than nothing. All right. I'm all excited about nothing. All right. So um, we are on, uh, what is this show called? Oh, yeah, we call it Cocktails. cocktails. So we're drinking. Um, one week I got kind of drunk. It was kind of funny. I was totally buzzed. I was like, <laughs> I'm good. I don't think Jeremy remembers that. But anyway, long story short, we're drinking something. Um, I don't really know what this is, but it tastes all right. It's kind of like sparkling wine, not champagne-ish. Read, but- yeah. I can't read that shit. That shit's like German or something. No, Ablo and Glaze. Yeah, I don't know. Deutsch für Jelven. No. <laughs> anyway, so um, normally Kimber is here, but she can't be here. I forgot what, why, because um, I'm a horrible friend. <laughs> um, I know she's having surgery for her, um, I don't know, her tits or something at some point, but I don't know when that is. Um Anyway, so we are going to talk about what's new DVD porn-wise because everybody wants to know that, right? Hold on. No, that's sex tips. We don't want that one now. We want that one later. Okay, new DVD releases. Bow chicka bow wow. (gasps) Game of Bones is coming out. I'm actually excited about that one. I wanted to be in that one. I was like, what? I found out after it was filmed. I was like, what? Like... (laughs) Aww. I went to the audition, but like I was kind of like, hey, hey, whatever, you know. My phone's going off. It's Twitter. Oh, it's Erica tweeting me. Hold on. I didn't know Zero Tolerance was doing that. Winter is coming. <laughs> That's so smart. <laughs> Who's in this? I'm fucking blind. I can't see shit. I know Aaliyah Love is in Game of Bones. That Game I of know. Bones. Okay. Annika Albright, Bailey Blue, April O'Neil, Dana Diarmond, Tanya Tate, Aaliyah Love, Claire Robbins, James Dean, Anthony Rosario. Aaron Wilcox, Tommy Pistol, and it's done by Leroy Myers. I thought fucking Steven St. Croix was in that, too. Steven's in my movie, Homecoming. <laughs> He's, He's my it. dad. That's. Did you guys have sex? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so wrong. <laughs> oh, God. Taboo Tales. I want to hear what this one's about. Oh, why don't they do a fucking synopsis? Oh, they do. Some of them. 
Taboo Tales should be by Jackie St. James, New Sensations, right? Yeah. Dang, girl, you are on that shit. Like, I was in the okay. one that came out before that, I think. That might be why I know it. Sometimes Actually, only family. <laughs> she, uh, she's cool. I've never worked for her. Sometimes only family can fulfill your needs. Oh, God. When his stepdaughter is accepting, uh, is accepted uh, to her college uh, cheerleading squad, the men's forbidden fantasies suddenly turn into prerogative. Pre- Provocative reality. I can't talk or read. A woman's new career as a massage therapist becomes the ultimate foreplay when their stepson gets injured after a football game and requires her services. Oh my God. The one I did, I don't know if it's in this one, was with Xander and he was my stepbrother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy on us all in our horrible porn. Oh, mothers and... Uh, what is this one? This is Girl Candy Films. Mother Superior too. It looks like, look at, I love this shit. Anything that has to do with Catholic, I love because I'm Catholic. Oh, that's awesome. Can you see that? It's like uh-huh. a nun and like a, 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 a nun in training. Who's in that? Marie McKay, of course. That looks like her. Sovereign Sire. I love him. Her. It. <laughs> They're both girls. I'm kidding. Anyway. I want to find the funny titles. Usually there's funny titles. Has anyone looked at the nominations for the cleverest title of the year? Sometimes there's really good ones. Is there like, they have a, they they have have, a category have for a, it. Is this for AVN? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, we're so going. I have, I didn't know they had clever. Oh, what about my movie? Oh yeah, I have an orgy Christmas movie. Go buy it so that they hire me again. Did they wrap you in tinsel? Uh-uh. Oh, that's sad. But the guys were in... I guess the tights, red and green tights, oh God, and they like so cut a hole for their <laughs> cock. It was great, great, great. And um, the only one that looked good and could pull it off was Mick Blue. Interesting. Like who else was part of this? Anthony Rosario, Mark Wood, um, Jesse Jones. Okay, I I can see. How- I'm missing someone else. Clearly, they weren't that good. <laughs> Okay, so wait, where do I go to find this This clever? I believe it's down near the bottom of the list. Down at the bottom of the list. Once I go past the things that I want to see, then I don't look anymore. It's before the like web show, like the toy section. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, hold on. No, we're, we're almost there. We're on. We got a clever title of the year. Te- clever, cle- clever title of the year. I can't talk today. Clearly. Maybe you should drink more. Maybe that's the problem, right? It'll loosen your tongue up a little bit. Uh, I think some <laughs> pussy looking will loosen my tongue up with a... Uh, oh, BBD, BBW performer and our favorite person. I know. A whole bunch of people are nominated that I like this year, except for me. That's probably why. All my friends are nominated. It's okay. No hard feelings. <laughs> no hard feelings on me. I'm proud about it. <laughs> I saw girls bitching on Twitter for not getting nominated for shit. I'm like, mm, that's see. I was just happy that people knew who I was. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, our call in number is 800-893-9562. Um, it's a different number. 800-893-9562. Oh, my favorite category is best safe sex scene. Oh, that one was great. I was laughing. I, I think they have that just for Wicked Pictures. Is it all Wicked Pictures that are nominated? There's actually some Bang Bros or Bang Production. I don't know what that bang is. Bang Bros in Florida is condom mandatory with the exception of, I think, like two sites, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. so that's probably why. Um, and then a tranny movie from Devil's Films and a Porno Dan one because he has to wear condoms now because he's dirty. <laughs> Doesn't follow the rules. Okay, he's not listening. Naughty boy. Best star showcase. Now, I want to find best supporting actor. Let's see, who's that? What? Command F. What does that do? On. If you hit Command F and then type in what you're looking for, it'll bring you to that part. It's not working on my computer. Command F. Bitch, I'm doing it. Apple F, because you're using a Mac. Control F. (laughs) Just keep hitting something F until it comes up. Option F. (laughs) F-N-F? I don't know. Fuck this. F- F-U-C-K? Okay. F-U-C-K. Okay, well, um, someone's going to look for that, right? Are you looking for it? Clever title of the year. Just kind of. Okay. okay. Cirque du Holay. 
<laughs> see more butts. That's fucking awesome. Cray cray for JJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. The Black Storm. I've never heard of them. Come on, mom. That's not that funny. Zero tolerance. Come on, Dominic. Creamed fills Japanese for burgers. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, gag gift by red light district that's not funny gone black not coming back (laughs) oh my god (laughs) london bitches falling down (laughs) that's my porno dan oh what a dumbass um look dad i'm in porn interesting (laughs) misleading teenagers into anal sex (laughs) oh my god Uh, my hairy sugar walls oh lord Oh, my pussy ain't gonna lick itself by Hustler. That's pretty cute. Oh, God. Okay. Pumper in the dumpster. Dumper. Pumper in the dumper. That's disgusting. Slept bottom. Chris meets the prostate assassins. Oh, my God. That's just disgusting. Uh, okay. The mental images associated with every single one of these is just great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust fund trannies. How about that one? That one's good. <laughs> Erica likes that one. Did you come up with that name? No. Nope. That's a good one. <laughs> Me so ghetto. Me so honey. Me so ghetto. That's fucking hilarious. Though. Asian girls and black guys. Asian girls and black guys. Me so ghetto. <laughs> Bags with bags. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it's <laughs> hardcore. Oh man, that's hilarious! Oh my god, that's funny. I'm gonna have to save that for later. I don't know. Or a bag on the head? I don't know. But where do the other bags come from? I I, I don't. Maybe know. bags like like baggy titties or and like a bag? the bags in your titties. I don't know. Those would be implants, right? Erotica X Sensual Moments. Is this you? Yeah. It says it, it's you. <laughs> I'm the cover of that doing something crazy. Probably. I can't fucking My see. Body. I'm so goddamn blind. Oh, you look so cute and sexy and with your little ballet down. slippers. <laughs> You're so cute. The pictures just so, came out yesterday to that. So honey. You know, you long time. New sensations. I never work for them. I love to. I love them. I've worked for them once. Well, if they shoot me again, I'll tell I'll, them to shoot you. I'll, I'll look Renee's <laughs> vagina. <laughs> she might be down, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, new sensations. Okay, what is this? What is this? Sex and romance. Is that good? Is that all girls? That is also Jackie St. James' title, um, I believe. Was it all girls? I don't... Is the cover two girls? Yeah. It might be. I know they shot three girl oh, wait, no, girls on a, me. That's, that's a dude. Sorry. I look like a <laughs> it's just a girly man. <laughs> oh, who is that on the cover? I don't know. Uh, let's see. A whole bunch of people in that one. But it looks sexy. It could be a compilation DVD, too. Oh, the Taboo Tales, Reality Kings, Babysitter Diaries 12. Oh, is that the one where I'm eating a strawberry on the cover? Yeah, that's pretty cute. That was an interesting day. I threw that strawberry back up. Did you really? <laughs> yes. Did, I'm guessing. Well, because I am just starting to swallow it, and James just grabs my face and goes, and like, of course, if there's a strawberry in my esophagus, it's going to come back up. Oh, my there's Lord. There's really no stopping that. I had just swallowed. He knew it. He thought it was funny. That's not funny, James Dean. I, it was kind of You're funny. You're not funny. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> Just a little bit. He, we like that was actually a really fun scene. Like he had me against the refrigerator at one point. So homecoming is this the one for uh, X Biz Best Supporting Actress? Nice. Why is everyone naked on the? Because that was my idea. Was it really? Yeah. That's fucking. We, we funny. were lining up to do the like cover shot, and I was like, I don't want to wear clothes. And Vizco was like, Fine, don't wear clothes. And I was like, But I don't want to be the only one. Everyone else, take your clothes off too. And so then everyone just took their is clothes that, off. Is that Ralph Long? Yes. Did you have sex with him? No, he oh. had sex with Casey Calvert. Oh, I'm Actually, just, we dressed him up like a girl. Like, literally had a hair and makeup artist come and do his makeup and put a wig on him and put him in lingerie. I'm so glad you did not have to have <laughs> sex with him. Is that mean of me? No. No. The cops actually showed up to that set. 
Did they really? What'd they say? You well, wear condom now? <laughs> what had happened? You wear feminine. We were filming the fight scene where the whole family gets in a fight. So we were like screaming things at one another and someone had left a window open. So, no way. So yeah. a neighbor so called one of the, the neighbors. <laughs> heard like all this like crazy like though you're fucking your sister and like crazy (laughs) shit like that and she's like but he's adopted like whoever heard that got a like earful Mm -hmm. for sure (laughs) and I guarantee you they have nightmares Oh, probably. They they sat outside our house for 30 minutes. Like, we wrapped. It all had to sit in the house and wait for the cops to leave before we could leave. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was fun, though. <laughs> Why? You were in Against Her Will, too? Yes. I was in the first one. Yes, I was. Oh. All right, we're going to play a... Do we have to play commercials anymore? What? <laughs> What's that bullshit? Ooh, I have an awesome cheer. This isn't Allison Moore does whatever the fuck she wants. Okay, got it. All right, we're going to play a quick commercial, and we're and then we're going to introduce our guest. Hey, this is Alicia Pleasure from Triple X Porn Star Radio, and when I'm in the Philadelphia area, I love to go to Daydreams of Philadelphia. They're located at 5200 Unruh Avenue, of course, in Philadelphia. Their phone number is 215-338-3838 can email them at info at daydreams.us. Daydreams, I have to say, is the ultimate all-nude strip club. They are open seven days a week at 7 p.m. sharp. They open their doors. They have six stages. They have over 50 naked girls. And the only thing that they wear are smiles. So I'm telling you, if you get a chance, go check out Daydreams of Philadelphia. Again, they are located at 5200 Unruh Avenue. And the only thing that I say is if you don't walk out with a smile, there's something wrong with you. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I know Uh, that commercial by heart. Uh, All right. If you (laughs) want to listen, you can or call in and say hello. You can do that. I'll accept that. It's 800-893-9562. If not, no big deal. My feelings aren't hurt. Um, Anyway, back to me. So, um... Our first guest is here. Everyone, welcome Samantha Grace. Yay! Yay! Hello, everybody. Yay! <laughs> All right. Um, what was I going to say? Okay, everyone plug your Twitter. So start with you, Samantha. All right. I do have a Twitter, and it's at Samantha Grace, and pretty easy to find. Nice. Um, do you have um, a website? Yes, I do. Uh, SamanthaGraceLive.com. SamanthaGraceLive.com. So go there, and I do not want to go to my personal email. I want to go to my other email that has the naughty picture of Samantha Grace Ooh. that I was looking at earlier. I was like, oh. This Were is you fun. perving off to it? I think she was. <laughs> totally. Totally was. That is not the right email either. Do I not have that email on here? Motherfucker cocksucker. Okay. I don't have that email account on here. Fine. Be that way. Anyway, so um, what have you been up to? Um, I always see you in latex. And the first time I met you, we were at Adult Con, I want to say. I think it was. And you were wearing some hot latex stuff. And I was not going to lie. It was pretty cute. Oh, yeah. And my boobs hanging out, I think, that day. Yeah. I was just looking at pictures from that event. And we had, like, took a ton of them. I know. We took pictures. We took pictures. But I've been mean and just hoarding them to myself okay so you've been an adult for what 10 years yeah about 10 years how do you start i started off as a nude fetish model i mean i still do fetish but Mm -hmm. and then as time progressed you know i got naughtier and naughtier and naughtier that always happens yeah Mm -hmm. did that happen with you jenna yes i started off with just nude pictures and kind of slowly found my way to the porn world that way. I wanted to be a playmate. I think every girl does at I some think point so. in their life. <laughs> and then I, so, and yeah. then I realized how boring that was and I could do so much more with porn. Oh, definitely. So much more fun. Oh, way more. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to have to fuck, um, what's that old guy? Hugh Hefner? Yeah, no. I'd fuck his sons. That's fine. Oh, his sons I'd are I'd fuck hot. his girlfriend or his wife yeah, now. I'd, Crystal's hot. I'd do that, but I would not fuck him. I'd be like, dude, I'd be too worried that you'd get a heart attack when taking that Viagra to get it hard. I think right. the girls just hang out with him for the money. I doubt he can get it up anymore. You know what? He's probably such a playboy. He, where the term comes from. Um, 
He probably can. And we all just like, eh, he probably can't get it up. And it's probably like fucking 10 feet long. And you're like, ah. Well, <laughs> I've read Kendra's book, the, his ex-girlfriend Kendra. She wrote yeah. a whole like tell-all story. And in it, she says he watches gay porn and the girl's literally just go in a line and it's like three minutes on. Then you hop off and the next girl goes and it's three minutes on and you just keep doing this. That's what she wrote in her book. So I don't know if that's wow. true or not, but yeah, interesting, right? Yeah. Any good stories like that? <laughs> <laughs> no. Any tying dudes up? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. tying dudes up. Fun. I know it's like, it's something I do all the time that I forget that like, this is not normal. Normal people don't do that. No, <laughs> vanilla people don't do that. I would like to tie a certain man up and fuck him in the ass and then leave him there. With the dildo in his ass. Well, I've never left a guy with a dildo in his ass. I made him walk around the room with a dildo in his ass. <gasps> Did you tell him if he dropped it, you'd punish him? Yeah. Oh, of course. That. <laughs> 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 what about sending him to the store with a dildo in his butt? Not done that. I mean, I've like pour. My favorite thing to do is to pour water on their pants so it looks like they peed themselves and send them into a public place. That is awesome. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pee themselves humiliation. Yep. So on samanthagrace.live.com, uh, what can we find? It is mostly lesbian lust. Ooh. Lots of girls mm. tied up, lots of girls eating each other out, smothered in boobs, just lots of sexiness. Strap on. I like mm. strap on. Fetish? Very fetishy. Lots of latex. I'm getting turned on. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'm all, like rubbing my boobs. I'm like, you ooh. are. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking dirty to me. They text. <laughs> I mean, well, I love the clams. Did you, you can keep going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at this outfit. Like that is awesome. Look at that latex. I want a latex outfit. Except- one of my friends has one. Kayla Jane Danger. She mm. has a latex outfit just mm-hmm. like that, and she wears. Oh. Okay. oh yeah, and that's <laughs> like that's like the Mercedes of like cat suits that mm-hmm. I have on too. Like, really? it's custom made to me. It's formed to my they have zipper Mercedes? all the way up. Zipper just on the crotch. Okay. Zipper just on the crotch. Hold on. I have 10 mentions on Twitter. I'm going to repost something. I'm going to repost something. I don't know what's up. Um, anyway, so how do I go about getting on this website of yours? Um, <laughs> put the URL in your browser? <laughs> no, I meant like me getting on your website. What do I do? Do I have to like... Oh, you want to? Oh, you want to shoot? Yeah, I want to be with that. That um, outfit. That's easy to do. Um, oh my god, it has a zipper on the crotch. <laughs> no, you were of just course. talking about that. There would be no point if there wasn't a zipper on the crotch. You need that. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I was trying to retweet what Erica tweeted. I was, I was trying. <laughs> She's distracted. I'm distracted. Oh my lord. Okay, we gotta go to SamanthaGraceLive.com and masturbate to that later um ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um okay so do you work for any major companies or you just work for yourself um i actually just got a new agent about a week ago oh, right who's your agent i'm with lax models oh mm. i have seen them in testing <laughs> seen them in testing. yeah like when i go get tested i run into the guy who oh, runs me. yeah he's really nice he is he's really nice and Wait, i love scott mm-hmm. scott reedy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. tell him allison moore says hello just in that voice as well. Yeah, that was yeah. really sad. That voice. <laughs> <gasps> Nina Hartley's on his site. Mm-hmm. I love her. Everybody I've had, does. I've had sex with her. Oh, look, you're the first person that pops up. I like that. Yeah, it's probably because I'm brand new. Feature. <laughs> look at that. She's got some latex on. It's coming off. Now, how easy is that stuff to come on and off? Um, It's a pain in the ass. Like, once I have it on, I'm like, I am not taking this off. Do you use lube to get in and out of your latex? Oh, yeah. I have a gallon. Do jug. you really? Yep. Do people do, do you that? need lube? Because it doesn't, it sticks to your so, skin. Someone's going to have to get get me in and out of that, I'm Well, guessing. that's yeah. kind of my thing. I like to break, like, the latex virginity and then, you know, obviously break you in other ways. Yeah. <laughs> you can break my latex virginity. Have you done latex? I have personally, like, I've done latex heels before, but I have never been in a full latex Suit. I want to oh, be in a latex that. suit. I've played with zipper. girls in complete latex suits, like rubbed lube on their butt with my feet. That was awesome. That is awesome. And nothing is better <laughs> than like when somebody has a latex glove and they're like finger fucking you. Mm-hmm. It feels so good. It's just like this Wait, soft, like slick that's texture. That's awesome. That's awesome. Talk about the finger fucking with the latex glove. How does that work? You just well, lube it up and oh, go in. Stick your in. hand in How and you curve your right finger in. up and then. <laughs> Come here, kitty. <laughs> exactly. 
All right, we have a caller, so we're going to take this caller. Hello, how are you? Well, hello there. Hi. How are you ladies doing? Who is this, and where are you from? This is Mark, and I'm from Los Angeles. <gasps> Marco! Ooh. One of my fan friends. When they become a f- when they're a fan and they turn into a friend, they become a fan friend. Oh, totally. have a couple of those. Yeah, <laughs> they're awesome. Marco's falling in love. It's really cute. He texted me this earlier, but I was too busy um, flat ironing my hair text back I'm a bad friend oh you got that <laughs> message <huh? laughs> don't mm-hmm. fall in love this is what you tell the person not that it's advice I'm giving you it anyway you can throw it in the trash or you can take it you tell them I think I'm falling for you and just leave it at that and if they say oh well that's too bad then you kind of want to back off or if no. they say oh you know you're young and you have lots to live for then you back off as well but if they're like oh my god me too and then you're, you're like so sweet. cool jump in two feet forward let's go sorry that's my advice well, that's pretty much what happened today <laughs> mm. <laughs> so wait tell me what happened exactly well i we went out to sushi um uh, told her that i like uh, sushi pretty much sushi we're just making out uh at the end of the day so you told her that i that you were falling for her yep and then she just gave me a big wet one and we were doing that for about a minute or two minutes. I don't know. Oh, on your cock or on your mouth? Well, if they're in the sushi restaurant, I'm going to assume it was the mouth unless you guys were adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> Me so well, honey. You can go in the Me restroom. So it's fine. Yeah, go. Is there a Thai just massage the, parlor attached? There, yeah, there's a massage place right next door. Just there go in go. the bathroom. They don't care. They're all weird there anyway. They tie each other yeah. up. God, What's I'm, wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. So everything went good, I'm guessing? Oh, everything went well. Everything went well. Thank you for asking. I appreciate did, that. Did you get late afterwards or not yet? No, I have still have to wait a couple dates. Oh, he's a uh, gentleman. Oh, I'm always a gentleman. Aww. Aww, he's nice, yes. He's so nice. And me so honey. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. It's going to be the quote of the day. I know. I'm such a dork. Anyway. (sighs) Okay, I can breathe now. Okay. Thank you for calling. Sorry. I was like. Happy holidays to you, ladies. Thank you. you. I'm glad everything went well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. (laughs) Oh, me so honey. Oh, my God. I love saying that. I, I used like, to say that when I was really young. Yeah, right. it was <laughs> when I didn't know what it meant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> my parents thought it was funny. And I'm like, say that to my friends. You know, I'm like, <laughs> and they would all bust out. And I'm like, oh my oh, God. Why is this funny? I'm going to just keep saying it because everyone laughs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I go to school and say it. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, that didn't go over so well with the teachers. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny. So, okay. So, uh, I'm glad you're with a new agent because I don't know who you were with before, but it doesn't matter. That's in the past. Keep the past in the past. More Definitely. Forward. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in more things um, because I've seen you at, what is it called? Adult Con. Adult Con, Con yeah. yeah. God, that works really fucking fast. Maybe I should have ate today. Ooh. Ooh that <laughs> would be a, that, that yeah. could. I didn't. Those almonds are not holding me over. Of course, they're just straight protein. There's no carbohydrate to absorb. Exactly. Mm, I love almonds. We all do. I like I love nuts. Almonds. I like nuts. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. In my statistics class, we always, me and the, a couple other people always would be eating nuts and people would make fun of us and they're like, what are you eating? I'm like, I like salty Salted nuts. nuts. <laughs> And they're like, what? Why are you the coolest chick? I'm like, little do you know. <laughs> you think I'm cool now? You should see me outside of school. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we should talk about the sex review toy age of the week. Um, my son moved all my icons around on my iPad, so I'm kind of lost. Oops. <laughs> so I'm like, really? What the fuck were you doing, dude? Seriously. There should be a code. Like, you know how you have, like, your lock code to unlock it? There should be a code to have to put in to move things. Because I constantly yeah. delete things with my butt. Like, I'll be driving, <laughs> and I'll, like, sit on my phone wrong, and the next thing I know, I have, like, no apps. And I'm like, ugh. 
And then I never remember what app I deleted. Right, because then you go to not on this iPhone, iPhone or device, and it's like 20 things because you've tried out a million things. Right. Yep. So, I have to just go through it and be like, what looks familiar? <laughs> what looks familiar? Oh, I don't have that one. Okay. Um, Samantha, what are your favorite toys? I love the Hitachi Magic Wand. I do yes. too, but I'm trying to cut back because I'm losing vagina. Uh, Sensitization. Sensitivity. Oh, I've had that happen. Definitely. Yeah, so you have to like cut back every so often. It was really bad when I used to use a Sibian on cam a lot. Like, I, I was like, oh God. See, I, have- I tried the Sibian. It didn't really do anything for me. I hate the Sibian. I hate them. I will not see, use them. This is why we are having this Sibian discussion. And I also hate strap ons. Sorry. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> hey, it, it, there's only like two people that can get me off with the strap on. Otherwise, it's um, pretty much. A lot of girls hard. don't know how to use them, too. That's yeah. what I noticed. Well, that's half the problem. But also, when I'm wearing one, I just don't feel sexy. It does not empower me the way it empowers. Like, because I've seen girls who wear them and I can tell oh, that I it get empowers excited. them. I'm I can like, see yeah, it. take it. You know, it. they get oh, like amped. So For me, I'm like, I don't want to be here. Oh, 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 you're so cute. You're like, oh, I just, girl loving should just be vagina licking. Well, I like, to dive, <laughs> I like to dive into my vaginas. Like, I, I like get, like, it. all up into just them. that shit yeah, over and no, like, in there. Totally, that's, like, what I do. So, like, with the strap-on, I'm like, I can't reach it. It's not fair. You need to get a vibrating strap-on maybe to get more into I like double-sided dildos. Oh, that's that's right. dildos like. are fun, yeah. Because then you can, like, kind of well, uh, do the scissor. And you can do the dildo flip. Yeah. Where you start on your back and then you roll over with the girl and it oh, never yeah. comes out. It's really fun. I thought you meant like DPing yourself with a double dildo. I've done that. Oh, yeah, well, you could I- do that too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, before I forget. Okay, Monday is Kelly Payne. Tuesday is Ed Powers. Wednesday is Lisa Pleasures. Thursday is Mr. C. Friday is Amber Lynn. Saturday is me. And Sunday, I don't know, but I know Ginger Lynn falls in there somewhere. No one's giving me an update. So I did my point. Okay. Um, <laughs> yay, I did my Twitter or whatever plugging that hell thing was. I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about this toy review. Um, rocks off panty pin. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Erica, you should just chime in on this one. Because all I saw was it's $15 <laughs> and the toy's a winner. And I'm like, sold! Can you describe said toy? Because I'm yeah, going to be able I don't, to help toy you. toy is going to come over here in a second. I just wanted to. Look at yonder. I don't know if you guys can see. Them. Oh, it's like a little egg type yeah. thing. Is it an egg? What is that? You like place it on Erica your clit? Talk. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Erica talks. Kind of like a mouse, you know? I've had too much to drink. She's had too much to drink. Shit, that shit was strong. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <"Whoa." laughs> Fucking Samantha Downer. She's like, Psh, I'm a pro. She's behind. She has to catch up. Give her a chance. All right. Okay, what is this? (laughs) Catch your back. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) No problem. (laughs) Okay, it clips in place to tickle your clit. I so... Wait, what does it clip to? (laughs) I don't know. That's kind of disturbing. Where does it it clip to? Your Your underwear. Oh. Oh. I thought like the (laughs) labia. Oh, God. (laughs) That reminds me of that movie where she's wearing the vibrating... uh, Panties and little <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the kid keeps pushing the yeah. button. Is that Catherine Heigl? Yes, I think it was I a Catherine Heigl movie. I love her. Yeah, love she's her. pretty awesome. Okay, wait. It says discreet. Panty. Yeah, because it's like panties. Like panties, panties, like panties, panties are included. FYI. Oh, it does have a little clippy thing. Look at how cute that I is. I bought one of my friends something similar to this. Ooh, I, oh, yeah. that looks great. I bought her it, and I gave. I sent the Does remote to her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Gave her the toy remote goes uh, to her. Yeah, and I sent the remote to him and then he put it in her panties and took her out to like Christmas dinner or something. It was awesome. That's awesome. That's the kind of play I love yeah. doing with right. the- Here you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It's like kind of humiliating and hot. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. I have a, a fun little date tomorrow. It, it's it's it. a lot of fun. Like, Wait, I don't have a panty thing. I need a Luckily, a Hustler, the store in Hollywood, probably sells them. Maybe I have an Can idea. I be like, um, I'm on several of your box covers. Can't I just get Oh, this? no, I'll go get one of my <laughs> box covers and just walk up to the counter this with it. Me. Can I have one? one? <laughs> be like, <laughs> yeah. Can I have this? It's only $15, <laughs> so I don't really. Can you just mark it as damaged? Well, they give you a card. <laughs> Hustler does give you yeah. a card. You get like a percent off for being in the industry. Oh, really? How do yeah. I get said card? I think it's just walk answer. in. I think it's twenty percent. You just walk, walk in, in, find a DVD with, with your face your, on it, yep. and be like, "This me, yep. give me a fucking yep. card." Yeah, it's pretty much. That's pretty much it. That's funny. 
<laughs> I'll give you mine. It's not used. Wow. I do not want used sex toys. It's not no. used. It's not used. Do you get, yeah. you get toys for review, right? You're like me. Okay. I don't know. I want to. Okay. I can review them without using them. <laughs> See, I do crazy things with my toys you when I review them. You do not review toys without using them. That does not happen. I do crazy ass things with my toys. Like I will lick I things I'm not out. supposed to lick just to see what it tastes put- like in case some person decides to do well, it. It's like I have this like <laughs> little It was like, okay. <laughs> this is really gonna seem random. Okay, I had a vibrating ass toy that okay. was like a mini shaped dick. Literally like that big. Oh, so like a chode. <laughs> yeah, okay. it, was a, it was regular length, but really thin. I'm guessing it's like a so starter a dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a starter one for your ass. So I'm sticking it up my ass, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to stick something else up in there. Oh, no. It pushes it up my ass. Bye-bye. And so I'm sitting there like, <laughs> hold on to the guys on cam. And I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? So I'm like, just put a towel underneath me, and I shit out the toy. <laughs> I'm All sure this they loved comes it. out. It's great. <laughs> Just in case you guys had as eaten as today. that never happens on camera, you're good. <laughs> no. I was like, hold on, guys. I got to get off cam for a sec. <laughs> They're like, did you just lose the toy up your butt? I'm like, nope, nope. It's right here. It's fine. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> Baby, wipe it down. See, it's fine. Who wants to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Somebody I know went to the hospital, actually, because... They had a toy stuck in their butt, and they thought, "Oh no!" When I was, I'm like, "No, kid, just shit it out. Trust yeah, me, it's fine." Through. Take yeah. a laxative; you'll be fine. Yeah, just shit it out. You're fine. I've done it. <laughs> 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 oh Lord, have mercy on my soul. Okay, what's your favorite sex position? Oh my God, I'm someone that likes to switch it up, so I don't have like a particular one. So my sex Thank is pretty God. aggressive. It's like doggy, missionary, on my head, you know, bent legs over. Are you flexible? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh You're like gosh. me. <laughs> He's flexible too. Okay, what's your favorite sex? I'm, I'm the same as her. Like, literally, if you can fuck me in it, do it. Mm, like, yep. just throw me around. I was just whatever. told, like, exactly. hey, if I go any harder, I'm going to break you in half. I'm like, it's fine. Just keep break going. Me half, then, like, break me in half. They're like, put your I'm legs crying. up to your ear. I'm like, it's fine. I, can I know it. I'm fat right now, but just do it. <laughs> You're not fat. <laughs> no comment. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. What's your astrological sign? I am a Pisces. Okay. Mm-hmm. I will look that up, but until then, you were going to tell me, both of you, if you had a superpower, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? And I unfortunately have a superpower and I hate it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I blow out electronics. I have this weird <laughs> magnetic force field. I've had 27 Fuck, phones. I got like a... My, <laughs> MacBook. It is a $1,200 little piece of shit computer. It's oh, my computer shit. hates me. I've got a Mac and too. And my fucking iPad, you're going to ruin my shit. Bitch. I have an iPad too. That's also half destroyed. Um, oh, God. No, I've had 27 phones in like two years. And none of them have Ooh. actually physically broken. They just all... Stop working internally, and I blow lights out, and I mute my television, and you just have a lot of energy. You just yeah, I yeah. Just like it, it kind of comes out of me, and if I'm upset or really excited, it gets worse. Like oh I blew gosh, out, I blew really? out an entire set's power one time, and they couldn't get it back on. Dude, wow. you're, you should be going <laughs> to like that X Men. Um, what is that place called? Oh, they're like the little place where they like yeah, where they teach you how to be <sighs> not so crazy with your powers. Yeah, what is so that? So I called? should go be Anna Paquin. <gasps> Pretty much. <laughs> Oh my god, when I had blonde hair, everyone was like, you look like Anna Paquin. I'm I like, I'm really dyeing my hair back red. Thank you. The one I get all the time, everyone's like, you look just it's like the, Anna. It's, it's the, the gap in the teeth. I have we it have too, the honey. the same structure too, like bone structure. It's the gap in the teeth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you don't want to be rogue. You can't touch anything. You can't have sex. I can't touch no, anything. but you can, you can be Anna Paquin my reality. and true blood. It's yeah, great. No. True. I want to do a true blood parody and I want to do it for season two when they have that giant orgy out in the field with the yeah. crazy lady. I, I just want to do the biggest orgy in porn. I think they did do a, a true bug. I'm sure they did. But like, I just want right to do an orgy based one, like yeah. with everybody, like get the entire industry. Although mm. that could be risky. Although <laughs> what's sad is Jennifer White did that 50 person gangbang. She's gotten so much flack for it, and I feel bad because she's just a whore and slut. She likes <laughs> to be, you know. I'm like, good for her. You want to be a whore and a slut? Good. Go ahead. Good thing I'm not driving. 
I'm <laughs> pouring myself more booze. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, superpower. We got your like, superpower. <laughs> that's one I always struggle with, but I think it'd be kind of fun to be invisible. Mm hmm. Because you could do things, you could do a lot of shit. <laughs> Spilling it everywhere. Oh my god! It's not my fault if your computer's not working now. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> oh, she's oh. making it. Oh, great! Imp improvise. Well, I don't have anything to wipe it off with, so. No. <laughs> it's not that you're just licking it. I liked you licking it better. Can we go yeah. back to that portion of this program? There we go. That was hot. <laughs> and the way you lick it, it's just like uh -huh. perfect. <laughs> well, I didn't want to get lip gloss on it. Oops, sorry. <laughs> All right, Vi invisibility. Yeah, I sure. would get up to lots of shit. Why don't Dude, you put I your wouldn't. drink on that side <laughs> without <laughs> the electronics? No, because their <laughs> electronics are on this side, and I get kind of worried. You're, we need to get her a sippy cup. <laughs> <laughs> All adults have sippy cups for their drink. Wait, I can't you can put a noises. mustache sticker on it. Jeremy turned off the noises because one week I went crazy. Hold on. This is what Was I this the week you drank too much? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love this. I'm such a dork. Jeremy gets so annoyed because I think I just come here to play. Um, I had Pisces up here, but I was talking about... What were we talking about? Aren't you oh. a Scorpio? No, I'm not I heard that wrong. No, I'm I just decided you were a Scorpio because it's the most sexual sign. Mm. I like that because they're they dark. Are. Oh my god, well, my sister is a Scorpio and she's a fucking slut. Well, my birth <laughs> chart. If you no, do you do birth charts? Have you ever? ever I have. I have. Okay. So everyone has a Venus, which is your sex sign. And mm -hmm. actually, I've done it on a lot of different porn girls, and a lot of their Venuses are Scorpios. Did you oh. notice that a lot of porn people are Cancers too? Yes, I, I have cancer. noticed that. You know why? Because we can separate love and sex. Mm. Oh. I fall in that weird because we're like the so sign. close in. You Technically, know? my birthday I guess starts that new thirteenth sign that didn't exist until like two years ago. Opulus or something like that. The yeah. serpent thing. Oh, that's. I it. hate snakes too, and it starts on my birthday. That's retarded. Fuck that. Or ends. I don't well, really know. The thing is, is um, our calendar is not correct or something like that. You know yeah. what I mean? So then they like redid the calendar. Well, I mean, I'd be a Sag otherwise and because I'm a Sagittarius. I'm like, no, I'm a Sagittarius because that's what the Sagittarius is. It's very like, I'm this. <laughs> yeah. I love you. <laughs> How old are you? I'll be 25 in three days. You're old enough. Let's go kid. have lesbian sex. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I stop aging? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I started God. doing that at 18. It's so ridiculous. I have to, like, wax my hair everywhere. I'm That's getting true. laser. It's, it's so true. I want laser. It I don't hurts. Like it. Okay. <laughs> it really they does hurt. I cried last time. It's, it's, like, half red, half blonde. Just and it's diet. Like, I wax, dye it dark, and see yeah. if it works. Okay. Well, because it targets pigment. That's yeah. how it does it. It targets the pigment cell. So if you dye your hair dark, like, black, it'll it'll get rid of it. It'll target it. Okay, so I waxed my lip today. Back to mm. me. And it's like, um, I missed like hairs and they're darker and I can see them in the sunlight. And I'm like, really? Now I have to go home and wax again? You just pluck it. That's yeah. all I do. Just pluck them out. It's the same thing as waxing, but you don't have to re-wax your whole lip and get it stuck like I like to do. Yeah, that'd be all bad. I accidentally oh. got it up my nose one time. That sucked. If you were invisible, would you fuck <laughs> random people? Oh, totally. Oh, I would so do that. That would be so fun. Like, And they wouldn't know. <laughs> That's part of it. I'd be like, it's almost like rape. They just though. be like, all of a sudden, I feel <laughs> pleasure in my genital region. Oh, that's like that 40 Days, 40 Nights movie. <laughs> I don't remember that. Me did you, honey. <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm such a dork. Okay. Um, okay, so you're Pisces. So it says fish pickup lines, because I guess it's the two little fishies. Okay, emotional blackmail is your signature seductive uh, seduction technique. Uh, winners include... Okay, this is this is funny. I've got only six months to live. My girlfriend's in a coma. I just flew in from Iraq. So if you're a dude and you use one of those, I'm going to know you're a Pisces and you're a fucking moron because I ain't falling for that shit. No. But that's for dude. This is for chance. Yeah, I wouldn't fall for that. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's find something good in here. Usually Kimber does this shit. So I'm like, oh my gosh, romance levels is incandescent. You're beyond burning and hot. Oh, totally. I, I, totally. I can agree with that. I know that. Mm. I don't think we need a book to tell us this. No. I, well, I don't know anything about it, so I just I got to read it out of a book. Um, 
<laughs> no one knows your favorite position as you change your mind so often. It's true. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. My sexual fla- fav- flavors go here and there and I'm all over the place. That's like, so true. There's this Tumblr that does Zodiac signs. I think it's just the Zodiac something Tumblr. I want that. But um, one oh, of the... Oh, Pisces sex toys or 12 inch stilettos. Ooh. Ooh, I could see I you love... using a stiletto for naughty Ooh. purposes. Oh, I could. For I your would. fetish friends. It's oh, rubber. Friend. It fits you perfectly. It fits you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It works. It's There's true. no latex mentioned, but rubber is close enough. Rubber is a form of latex. Right? It's a, it's a, mm. they're all form of plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're all plastics. plastics. Yeah. They're all polymers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. works. Uh, <laughs> it all does. Oh, okay. So sex with you is a gamble. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> not as in um, rolling the dice. Not as in like we we're all tested. Oh, okay. Oh, that kind of oh goodness! I'm like I'm not. I'm a, a whore, but oh my not god, that kind. So, um, went to CET yesterday. Got tested. Me okay. too. So it's like 1:30. I'm like, oh my god, I didn't hear from him. And you know, like usually- I haven't gotten my test today. Have you? Oh no, I called them because I freaked out. I go, I okay. haven't gotten my test today. They're like, oh, we had over 100 patients. So yeah. um, I'll just tell you right now, yeah, you're fine. I'm like, okay, good. Because yeah. I have to wait till Monday now because they're closed and they don't open tomorrow. They got a whole bunch in at 1230 and then close at one. So she's like, I'm staying. I'm going to do what I can. Well, and then- she hasn't sent me mine and I got there at like 1015. So I, I, there, I left I my house there. at like 915 in the morning specifically to avoid hitting everyone. Yeah, there was a, it was a party. Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> well, yeah, at least party. everybody was going and getting Johnny tested. Johnny Sins was there. Christian was there. He was mad at me. Christian, if you're listening, I know you're mad at me, but that's cool. I'm still friends with you. Um, <laughs> anyway. I think he... <laughs> okay. I'm not going to go there. She's not going to go there. Oh, no. Um, anyway, so yeah, no, I, that was a bit of a heart attack, the, the waiting. Mm-hmm. But she's like, I just haven't had time, so good. Yeah. I'm glad I'm telling you this. Okay. Um, if it makes you feel better, not knowing probably means you don't have it because that would be the first thing they would want to deal with is telling they someone they by, had it. They just go by what, you know, if someone comes in, if whatever, they they just start in the emails, you know, start with the results. They don't well, really go I hope go, they've just gone through all of them and checked to see if anyone came back positive or anything because that should be top priority, period. Yeah, she's like, I'm just <laughs> going through them. I'm just, just yeah, that's just going through them. I bet you she did do that already mm-hmm. and she just hadn't gotten to. That's why I'm not really freaked out is the fact that nobody has been like, oh, by the way, there's a new one, you know? I'm like, okay, well, like, I mean, we've all been tested and they're going through the results. If something positive had come up, they'd be dealing with it right now and we would know. Word to your mother. Oh, I don't like my mother. And my mother doesn't like me, so... Neither okay. does mine. That's why I don't like my mother. <laughs> my mom's like, what? I spent so much money getting you to do dance and acting, and, and this is what you do with it. Yeah. I'm Feel like, you. I'm like, your uh, one daughter is... A convicted felon and porn star, and is the only one that's going to be graduating from college. How do you feel about that, mom? No comment. That's what I thought. Right. My mother enjoys remembering when I left her house, which she thinks was last year, but really was like three and a half years ago. So my mother just doesn't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom remembers me as the little girl. Yeah. It's like, okay, what is that? About it. Okay, let's find something else good in here. I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm not good. Okay, despite piling, uh, being a pile of wet Kleenex, you always get a date because you're shrewd enough to realize that there's a whole market to exploit out there if you don't insist on alpha. Ooh. I don't see her not being an alpha. I don't see yeah, her I'm not very being manipulative, an alpha. But I'm not very, like, it sounds like it's most Pisces get the reputa- reputation. I can't speak. Reputation. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Reputation of crying. And I'm not a big crier. So. Yeah, I don't get that either. I don't, I don't take you as a cry. It says your target is the sick, ugly outcast or psychologically damaged because you think they they will be pathetically grateful and eager to fulfill some of your many needs. Oh, well, maybe to like <laughs> manipulate and Maybe use to and abuse. manipulate yeah, and abuse. Yeah, that's that's like, like a financial like, sub. Like, yeah. That's a perfect sub. That's exactly. a perfect <laughs> sub. Someone that's, what is that? What did they say? Psychologically damaged. I do not My want anyone to My parents will tell you I'm psychologically damaged. I don't agree with them, though. Oh, it says speed dating suits your tiny attention span. Mm. Probably, I would say that. I, I tend to, like, especially subs, I tend to kind of go through them. You go through them really fast. <laughs> well, they're Somebody disposable. wanted me to sub them, and I'm like, dude, just buy me shit. <laughs> really what do you want I'm like I don't know just got my fucking wish list okay what do you want I'm like dude fucking go away I can't deal with this shit it's like you gotta do a combination you gotta you know you gotta spoil me and 
treat me like a goddess. Mm. And then, you know what? And then we can play and I will use you how I want. And then again, treat me like a queen mm-hmm. again. Mm-hmm. They want, they sometimes some subs say they're subs and they just, they want like a service top. And I'm like, fuck that. Mm-mm. Okay, so how does a, a normal dom sub, how does that start out? How does that, um, you know, mature and cultivate and how does that, you know? I start slow. Like, okay. I always start with like, all right, we're going to meet up and see how it goes. I can tell within five minutes if I'm going to like a sub or not. I can mm. look at them and be like, all right, you're going to be annoying. No. And that's the ones who are really tend to be really persist- persistent. They're really, really desperate. They're like, oh. A goddess, a goddess. It's like, no, go away. I'm never talking to you again. Oh my God, I love this. Put them in their place. I do. That's what they want. <laughs> they do. Mm. Well, they sometimes they say they want that and then they get all snivelly oh. and, mm, you're mean to me. Well, of course. Fucking that, cry, bitch. That's what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. The first time I did this dominating thing for Glenn King, he's all like, I was kind of worried. I didn't think you'd be good. I go, what? So when I put my feet in his face and tell him to lick my fucking toes, that wasn't good? He's like, no, no that's great. perfect. I'm like, lick my fucking toes, bitch. <laughs> I think what happens is people look at you and they're like, oh, she looks sweet. They don't know that you're evil. <laughs> that happens to evil. me a lot. People it's are like, evil. So it's just dom- sure. it's just dominating. Yeah. <laughs> I want to walk on some guy with fucking stilettos and be like, Thank you. I've oh, sat on some that. guy's awesome. face with panties on for like 25 minutes. It actually hurt my butt. <laughs> well, it's because you were going to about that. Yeah, one. his nose hurt. Well, he has to actually be doing something. <laughs> Sorry, we were giving you some claps. Yay. Yay. No, not the clap, though. Just clap. <laughs> <laughs> not the clap. Not that clap. That's or what I I like that one better. Okay. <laughs> Such a dark. Okay, so what's your type? What's your type? Tell me. Um. Well, when it, it depends because I have the guys. Boys and girls. I have like guys that I date. I have girls that I date, and then I have playthings. Like it, it. You know, there's little categories for everything. I like this. <laughs> Plug your Twitter and website before I forget. Oh, it is at Samantha Grace and SamanthaGraceLive.com. Yes. Yes. What about you, Jenna? What's yours? At Jenna J Ross. What about your website? I don't have a website. We're going to have to work on that shit, girl. Oh, mm. yeah. Well, if I have a website, then it's going to have to be niched into a certain market, which would probably be deep throughout. And I just don't have time to make my own content right now because I refuse to give anyone else creative control over my vision. <laughs> I was like, I want to have what? sex with you just from <laughs> that. But you just said, all right, we're going to take a quick break and do a commercial. And I'm going to just let Jenna talk to me in her dirty voice that she talks to yeah. me too. Meow. 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 See here now. Meow. meow. You just said meow. 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 <laughs> commercial. Commercial. No commercial. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're not getting we're a break. We're back on meow. Okay, cool. Are you an adult performer who's serious about your career or a studio or an adult-oriented company who wants to grow your business and potentially increase sales? You need PR, but you need the right PR. The Rub PR is not only a well-respected, but they deliver results. They're the ones you call when you are really serious. Erica Icon and her team have worked with the biggest in the biz and up-and-coming stars and entities. For more information about The Rub PR, check out their website at therubpr.com. That's T-H-E-R-U-B-P-R.com. And we're back on, and I forgot to take my crazy pills today. I knew I forgot something. Hold on, I have them here somewhere. I should wash them down with some Ouch. fucking Ooh. <laughs> with the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wash my crazy pills down. That was my my plea to get out of get out of going to jail. I'm crazy. I wasn't taking my pills. All right, fine. Here, we'll slap your wrist. Take your pills, bitch. Let's see. What? <laughs> <laughs> I got these are vitamins and these are just these are just Vicodin. <laughs> oh. Her crazy pills are Vicodin. No, <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> no. Oh, it's okay. It's expunged. I can talk about all I want. <laughs> I'm buzzed. All right. I should not drink and do radio. That's uh, isn't that's that the okay. whole premise of fun. your show? Yes. 
<laughs> okay. The truth syrup comes out. Yes. Okay. We're going to do play the game of the original way to come up with a porn name. So, dog and street you lived on. Um, like the dog's name? <laughs> don't or have a dog. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't have one now, but I used to, so. First pet. That First works. pet, okay. Ooh. Oh, that does not taste good with that. Okay, so, <laughs> Odie Summertime. Odie Summertime, that's actually a cute porn name. <laughs> I'd be Raja Edgewood. That makes <laughs> sound <laughs> so exotic. Great. Oh, my God. You would need to get a spray tan for that name. Oh, I don't like spray tans. They make me all weird looking. They peel on my stomach, and then I look like I got a skin disease. And they, um, they kind of stink. Yeah. yeah my, they feel I funny. Hate how it looks in my ass crack. Oh, yeah, because it, like, kind of parts. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm like, I have a big butt. It sticks together, and then when you, like, want to... I used to have that problem when I would go tanning. I would end up with really weird white lines because my ass would just, like, cover certain parts, and then I get out of the tanning bed and be like, 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 Under the ash cheek. Oh, you got to put your legs up. The argyle look, yes. Yes, thank you. Put your legs up in the tanning bed. Uh, You can always tell which guys in the industry... stand up. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, a good one. Yeah, but you one. have to still bend forward and, like, stick yeah. your butt mm-hmm. out or else it doesn't really work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, Working like, you can out. always tell which guys are the ones that are tanning because they always have, We're like, they gay. have the circle above their butt where yep. their lower back is and then, like, the argyle look underneath it. Yep. You can always tell. I can name about 20 in male talent that do that. Yep. I like, don't, all of them. You don't do them. Boy Girl, do you? No, I don't. Oh, oh I man. have that book. I love this book. This is, like... <laughs> I that, that, yeah, it was one of the first this, books I got. This is one of my ex- when I was allowed ex- to buy those ex husband's books. I don't know which one. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is called the stand to deliver. So the dude's standing, the chick's on him. This is our sex position. I've done that one backwards. Yeah, I've done that. It says a classic all guys cl- crave. <laughs> Yeah, where they like a lift classic you up and that all guys yeah. crave. Throw you. You know who's who I've done this with? I've done this with Christian. And I know we all don't care for Christian, but I love him on Sundays. So tomorrow. Yep. So not today. Not today, <laughs> just tomorrow. Um, yeah. That's good to do with a guy with a big cock. If you have a small cock, you can't be doing that. No, you have to be venture. Yes. Yeah. Have you noticed that his cock just fucking throbs? I can deep throat that entire thing. Holy shit, girl. Wow. You deserve a medal. You deserve an yeah, AVN. Where is my deep throat award? There should I would be a really deep like throat to know award. where the category for deep throat is because they don't Somebody have one. Tweet them or email them. Even no, you can't tweet it. them because it's a bot. They're I not going to answer us. Um, actually, porn star tweet used to help their Twitter. Well, all I know is that oral is not the same as deep throat, and they mm-hmm. need to specify the two different categories. Because mm-hmm. I can't deep throat, but I, I was nominated once for best oral scene somewhere. I, I can swallow, I can bounce my face off his stomach and have done it on video. <laughs> I'm just learning to deep throat, and that's with like a fucking small dick shit, man. I think it's, it's most impressive because of my it's side. It's scary. If you ever do boy girl, I'd be scared. I have deep throat in my personal life. No, I mean like this one just it's, like it's this raw. glass is about about the same size. It, from where my drink is, my drink is about the size of Bruce Venture. Oh, that's pretty big. I thought yes. it was, I, I figured it'd be the whole glass. I don't know. I've worked with him. I can't no, remember. this is this is like when he's really hard, but then he you doesn't know how think straight. Throbs. Yeah, but he doesn't think straight when his dick's this hard because all the blood's in it. Yeah, I know. It's not good. <laughs> he's like, I need water. I'm going to pass out. I'm yeah. like, dude, I feel, I'm worried. I get You're worried. Okay. Like, yeah, wow. no, it, like it throbs and changes sizes. Like it'll like grow and like does this, he like, take does Cialis or something? No. Yeah, I... That's He's just not- born to do porn, apparently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if he ever knocked oh, anyone yeah. up, I'd be scared to see what came out. Like, would it come out well, like, first? <laughs> like- <laughs> and if it was a chick, it'd probably be a hermaphrodite. But can you imagine? Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. Oh, Okay. <laughs> okay, so should I um, blah, 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 explain this? So you stand against a wall with your legs slightly spread apart. Have your man face you. So this is if I'm talking to a girl. No, this is if the dude's lazy and yeah. doesn't want to actually hold you up. Mm, yeah, exactly. So if your dude <laughs> can't hold you up, use you the wall. You don't need to be wall. with him. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been with a dude that can't hold me Neither up. Neither have Neither I. I. So. Wait, I've worked with a dude that probably, Tommy Pistol's a, a I teenager. suspect Logan Pierce could not pick me up, but that's he's because Tom- he's like my height without heels. He's so cute. He reminds me of a hobbit. He is a hobbit. <laughs> oh my God. First time I worked with him, he was doing those little like 
Well, at least we know that whenever they make the Hobbit parodies, that we have the perfect Frodo. The perfect Frodo. Frodo Baggins. Yes. A.K.A. Logan Pierce. Oh, my God. We're so mean. <laughs> She's so lucky she's a new boy girl. <laughs> I mean, there are certain boys that I would highly suggest you need to have under your belt at some point. Okay. Okay. Let's, okay, okay. Top that you would suggest for her. Mm, do you want to be the dominant one or do you want to be dominated? Because mm. it would change. <laughs> I go back and forth. Because, like, for example, like, I don't particularly... Um, James Dean is really dominant. Like, there's no way you could dom him. He would just... <laughs> like, yeah. Here you go against no. a wall. You're not dominating me. But he's... I don't know. He's something about him. good performer. His penis goes he in really you and you black out. Hey. Hey. You think that? We're going to Vegas. Vegas. Your phone ringing. <laughs> I accidentally pressed those. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What? No, like his he puts his dick in you and you don't you like you just you're like, okay. Yeah. Whatever you say. That's pretty much what goes on with him. So like I mean I do recommend that experience, but for someone who's more dominant, I don't know if you would have the same kind of chemistry, you know? I think it's good to try. Every, Ooh, bicycle, every like, bicycle should be tried. All right, yeah, I agree. Just give it. everything a ride and I then, agree with then, that. then tell you decide. Then you decide. Okay, so who else? Oh, who else do I like? I like Michael Vegas, but that's just because he's such a little pretty boy, and I like. No. I've never worked with him. He's adorable, and he's really sweet, and he does the poi stuff too. <laughs> There's nothing like watching a guy swing balls around. I know. You're like, why are you doing this? <laughs> we would be rehearsing lines. Why is your dick not out? I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> They're like, it's cool. You can just suck obviously, my dick and I can do this. And I was like, this is not a porn, right? Bruce is another one I recommend, but that's solely just because it's like you got to experience You got to experience that. the giant cock. It's, that's wrong. Yeah. Okay, who else? Uh, if who you else? do IR, you got to do Lexington Steel. Cause that I is don't do giant. IR. But it's if like you a- were to do IR, then I hear he's awesome. As is, um, what's that guy's name from Arizona? Fuck. I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do IR. She didn't remember his name. Okay, who else is again? Um, well, obviously, I like Danny Mountain. I've he's cool. I've him either. I like Johnny Castle, but only because he's figured out where my squirt spot is. Ooh. Yes, that was an interesting experience. <laughs> so I was like, what's happening? Oh, okay. I have the best scenes with Johnny Castle because it's like, he's just a cool guy. Does that make sense? Yeah, and he- that makes sense. He's laid back and you could, you can't really shock him. Like, you could try, but he's just so like, eh, I'll just go with it. I'd be like- Lick my feet. He goes, I love feet. I'm like, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. Like, lick just, my asshole. That's perfect. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. He's just very, he's pliable. Oh, I, I like say. that. Yeah. You would probably get along really well with him. She yeah. would do well with him. Because it's not that he has to be dominated, not that he has to dominate me. He just, he wants to pleasure you. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He wants to pleasure you. And it's great. I don't know what Kennedy Lee just tweeted me, but she can wait. Um, okay, mm-hmm. so um, where did you grow up? Anything interesting, like a small town in Virginia that has like 12 people? No, I grew up in northeastern Ohio, right on Lake Erie um, in a boating community. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's cool. It kind of looks like, you know, like Connecticut. Oh, that. so you're kind of like near where I'm from, Massachusetts, so Connecticut borders me. So I know what that looks like. That's cool. Yeah. She's, a little, she's a little Boston girl. Mm-hmm. Do you like the Red Sox? Red Sox, Patriots, Bruins, Celtics. Mm. I get so much hate from everyone. Like, I, I don't like telling people I'm from Boston. People on set will be like, where are you from? I'm like, Boston, don't hate me. Don't hate me. Sorry. Sorry. I can't help it that my teams are better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys should recruit better. Um, you know what, bitch? <laughs> the, L- the Lakers should have won, so you know what? Which time? Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Actually, I think you're yeah, fine. Yeah, awesome. right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> 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 okay. I've been drinking too much. All right. So, yeah, that's why I haven't taken my crazy pills. I didn't eat today. So you guys are getting a little lush. Okay. Oh, I love, I'm enjoying the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> okay. What is the weirdest, craziest thing you've ever done on set? Or personal life. We'll go with both. both okay. Yeah. I'm like, that's such a hard question. I know. I'm like, oh, God. And so many crazy things. I gotta really think what would be crazy because what's crazy is kind of normal. It is. It is somewhat. So, normal. what's the most normal thing you've done? <laughs> okay, what's the most normal thing? Yes. Um, missionary sex. Ah. Yeah, that's, yeah probably- that's probably the most normal. Kissing. 
Oh, kissing. Kissing, yeah. I like <laughs> kissing. Okay. I love kissing. I like kissing. and Only the person knows how to kiss, though. If you yeah, get one I'm of those very... people that's like, I'm going to eat your face. You're like, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate the girls that are like, Oh, I hate that. No, it's like, yeah. I like like real. Like, I want some passionate kissing going on. I too. want your spit in my mouth at some point. So like you might as well just stick your tongue yeah, in there. Yeah, I want you to grab my hair from underneath. That's what, oh, I love doing that. And hold my face even though I don't like, don't know where your hands have been. And I'm sure they're probably dirty and they're getting on my nice clean face dirty. And like grab my face and just like. Go to I'm town. Like, what? Oh yeah, and I, you know, okay. A good kiss involves like the ears, the neck, everything. Yes, it's a everything. full body experience. It yes. really is. It should be at least you if could, you're doing it right. As a girl, you can have an orgasm kissing. Did you know that? I've never. I've gotten pretty fucking close. The teasing you? in and of itself. Erica, ha- yes. The teasing, the part oh, where you God. tease. Like, yes. That's you- what can get you to that point. Because, like, I mean, theoretically, we can all orgasm with our minds. It, oh, yeah. All you need oh, is the mindset to think exactly. up to that point. Exactly. Mm. God, there's and that's how I make all of my scenes awesome. I just think about great things. And so- <laughs> <laughs> I think of great things. Oh, God. Okay, so what... what- Anything uh, crazy, sexy, not sexy, funny happen on set? Even if it's just your... your uh- oh, yeah, my own, like, site and stuff. Um, usually my... Especially for my site, it's usually really laid back and fun. I don't want it to really feel like a set. I want it to feel like we're just going to be fucking. Oh, I like I like that. The real experience. Yeah, kind of. So I'm like, hey, let's hang out. You know, it's, it's like, let's, let's eat a little food. Okay, oh, I now thought you were going to say pussy. I got excited. Then, you know, let's get dressed up. Then, yeah. <laughs> Here, have, a, have a little wine. This is this is getting better and better in the minute. Why aren't we dating? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like to seduce. It's like a whole process. <gasps> the whole process. I want to be seduced. Someone seduce me, please. Seduction is what makes everything amazing. I think it does. It does. And, you know, um, charming. There's a fine line between... Uh, being charming and arrogant or oh, a creep or you a could creep. be charming or a creep like it depends on how you say it if your tone of voice just goes wrong it <laughs> has a <laughs> different meaning oh god all right should we talk about sex tips from the bunny ranch girls i'm kind of curious what they what they have to say they say always give oral do we agree or not agree oh i agree with oral oral you need to I give agree. oral it's the warm I up agree. it's warm up you know you don't go and just it's like stretching before you go and run. It right. You don't happen. just go run. You stretch. You maybe do a little jogging yeah. beforehand. You got to get those muscles loose. Oh, yeah, totally. get those muscles loose. Yeah, exactly. Okay, doggy style. Do it doggy style. Yeah, you need to do doggy. Yeah, I like right. doggy. I think doggy has to happen before anybody comes. I'm sorry. I agree. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless you're I don't like be- reverse though. Although I like it more that I found the squirt button because now cool things happen when I go in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> the squirt button. I like it. The squirt button. That's funny. Mm-hmm, oh the squirt button. The squirt button. It goes psh. You're like, whoa. Yeah. That was not supposed to I happen. Imagine, well, no, the other day I was on set and someone's like, are you going to squirt? I'm like, I don't know. You <laughs> can't have yeah. squirting though. It either- no, no control over this. Ask the girl doing it. She might know better. Her hand's in there. <laughs> it's true. It either happens or it doesn't. And there's a lot of you factors involved. You know who's good at that? Lily Cade. I she know. Is. She's amazing. She's she was the first girl that made me squirt. Oh my god! Yeah. I only could squirt when I was pregnant. Because Interesting. Of the, because of the, of the pressure? pressure? Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. That's so weird. I'd like go to the bathroom and like masturbate over the toilet so it wouldn't get everywhere. Oh, that's how I figured out what squirting was. Yeah. Because I was like, it feels like I have to pee. Like I had just been having sex and I was like, it feels like I have to pee. It feels like I have to pee. And like I couldn't pee because I didn't actually have to pee. So I was like, just stuck my fingers on myself and all of a sudden all this liquid came out and I was like, oh. oh how old were you when this happened? Uh, 23. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like 27. I <laughs> See, I figured it out when I was like 18. I think some I had weird like, parents. I couldn't I was do in that. Catholic school. You see, <laughs> you have like dominance of like don't do this. You're just like, don't touch oh, that. Okay. I used to take my teddy bear and rub it up on the clit though. Well, Catholic girls are always dirty. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I'm in porn. <laughs> Almost every girl in porn, I swear, was Catholic or a cheerleader. That yeah. Well, cheerleaders are always whores. We know that. Well, I know. I mean, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Hello. I think Jeremy's talking on the cell phone to someone. Hey, what's up? Hey, who are you Hello. talking to? 
talking to my uh, business partner. Is he sexy? Yeah. Does he know how to show squirt? me a picture? Can All he right, squirt on me? <laughs> Tell him I said hello. Joel Allison Moore says hello. Hello, Hi. Joel. Tell me about your day. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something different again. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be a dick. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Oh, what dang. are you wearing? <laughs> All right, back to what the Bunny Ranch thinks is sexy. Who cares a shit? Okay, it says consider a threesome. In your personal life, if you never did porn, would you do a threesome? I did I've already, yeah. Yes, like, yeah. yes yeah. okay, me too. Okay. <laughs> Before porn, I had already had threesomes. Yeah, me too. Okay, use a sex toy. Before porn, did you ever, girls ever use sex toys? Yeah, I done sex toy reviews since I was like 19. I have yes, boxes okay. of them. Yeah, we all did. Okay, next. You guys don't have very good... Uh, I'm sorry, we're not interesting. <laughs> watch or just do research porn. Okay, so watching porn as a couple, do you think that's a good idea for couples to do? Um, I think it depends on the couple. I think sometimes guys have weird expectations. Mm-hmm. They're like, it's like, no, that's shot to look good. It doesn't really feel the way it looks. Yeah. I think there should be like um, a disclosure. Do not try this at home. <laughs> yes. by trained professionals. Definitely. <laughs> yes, I agree. Because I've injured myself on set so many times yes. on counters. Counters are a bitch. Yeah. They hurt. Have you had sex at the Hustler studio with yes. the, the bench? Not on the bench, but at the, the bench that's in front of the like lockers. The lockers, yeah. No, but I did that for Penthouse. I did actually, I did a handstand blow job with that. Oh, ow. Yeah, it was fun. (laughs) (laughs) Sex in the shower can be dangerous too, guys. Oh, definitely. Very slippery. Yeah. 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 I don't think I've done a shower scene, but I have had sex in the shower. Sexy. I would love (gasps) to do a shower scene. should do that for my porn parody. In the, the, like a lesbian sex. Or it, what you were talking about or, earlier, the, uh-huh. um, the, there's definitely a shower room involved in that yes. kind of scenario. Yes. So oh, I, yeah. I think a lesbian that should happen. I like that. Lesbian orgy. Cheerleaders. Cheerleaders. Sure. Cheerleaders can come. I'm cool with that. I like cheerleaders. They wear short <laughs> Prison skirts. rapes, rapist. Everybody's invited. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is something I have a problem with. Enjoy a little PDA. Do you like PDA? Uh, depends. I don't like when we're out in public and there's a girl who's like, oh my God, baby, I love you so much. I love you to bits and pieces. I love you more. No, I love you more. I'm like, stop it. No, I love you more. There's there's a limit. Like, you can do PDA, like... It's cute when you hold hands or if you're in a movie, you want to... Yeah, like, little interactions are cute. But, like, the whole, like, I'm obsessed with you and I'm going to say every feeling, like, I love you, Snooky Bear, more than anything. (laughs) Oh, my God. Just don't. Just don't. Oh, my God. Why have we not hung out more? This is great. This is, like, girl talk. And I don't really Sorry particularly like the, guys the teen ebopper relationships, you know, like the first where relationship. You hold hands. Where you're like you're literally like got the like arm attached. around and at the hip. <laughs> yeah, literally, you're you're literally, literally attached at the hip. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, you can't do anything else. I can't else do that. Because, I, you know, my Catholic schoolgirl skirt doesn't go up that high. <laughs> <laughs> the one I own now does. <laughs> well, it's like, okay, from experience, like, a guy just like we we're like sitting there talking at the bar, talking with his friends. Just picks me up, literally picks me you around, up, literally picks okay, me up, just me sure. around, and like kisses me. And I was like, oh my god, that just like takes me like surprises me. Like to me, I'm like he's like, oh, I'm sorry, you don't like PDA. P, uh, PDA. That's not PDA. That's the, creeper status. Yeah, that's creeper. That I would, would be, be like really... the guy, the fan that came up to me at AVNs and licked me. Like, and, <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, that's PDA. Business. Okay. Yeah. No. Like, and, and then being like, I'm sorry. I was just PDAing with you. It's like, no, no. That that is not PDA. PDA or is requires that, is unconsensual. Is that, yeah, that's it's unconsensual P- PDA. <laughs> or is that him just being spontaneous? Oh, I don't like spontaneity. I don't like spontaneity. Spontaneity. Whatever. <laughs> spontaneity. Yeah. Spontaneity. I don't really care. English major. Spontaneity. I thought it's spontaneity. Wow, I'm drunker than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my radio show. One second. Okay. Okay. And leave me alone. No, just a band friend. It's annoying. Oh. Right now. Okay, so PDA on a general scale. Bye, Bye. Erica. Bye, Erica. Erica. Leaving the house. It's 5.15. You said 5.30. No, she said 5.15. Whatever. I'll call you later. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going Bye. to some fancy restaurant with my children. It should be interesting. Oh, that'll, oh, that'll be, be fun. Yeah, that'll be an adventure. Drive all the married couples that ha- actually got babysitters. Crazy. That's the way to do it. Yeah, we're going to hit a commercial on that break. On that note, break, note, what? That would be you. (laughs) Stop by wackytoys.net and see what the buzz is all about. Low prices for great quality luxury sex toys such as vibrators, light up vibrators, glass dildos, magic wands, toys for men, bondage, sexy wear, and much more. Thousands of sex toys to shop with discreet privacy, same day shipping, and PayPal also accepted. Create your wish list at wackytoys.net. Enter promo code radio at checkout for 20% off your next purchase at wackytoys.net. Also visit wackyvision.com for your adult XXX video experience and get 15 minutes free. Love tequila. Jenna J. Ross was just saying how tequila makes her get naked and on top of cars. Yes. I almost brought in margaritas today. Good thing I didn't. Yeah. Because she'd be naked on top of my car I and I'd be, be taking home. my own car. Like, I'd just I'd take you home. I'd drive it like this. <laughs> cool, right? God, I love you. <laughs> She's like so cute. I just want to put her in my pocket and take her home. <laughs> like Polly Pocket. <gasps> oh, she I is. I love Polly Pocket. Polly Pocket. <laughs> I love Polly Pocket. I want to decorate my Christmas tree with my little pony. Oh, that would be oh, so one of my little pony Christmas tree. <laughs> Do it. I'm thinking about it. I mean, fucking it. girls in the business have fucking Hello Kitty obsessions. I with Hello, I'm Hello Kitty. Of it. With the Hello Kitty all over their Christmas Hello tree. Hello Kitty. Uh-huh. I used like, to okay. love it. I can't do it. Well, I was like, never liked it. I liked Kuropi the frog. Oh, he's yeah, cute. Yeah, he's a lot better. I do have a little stuffed animal a Japanese friend got me. I liked cool. cupcakes. I was always into the little cupcake decorations. Well, they're cute. Right? I like cupcakes. cupcakes. They make you, who can't smile at a cupcake? <laughs> Sundays are cute, too. Like, I don't want to eat oh. them. I just want to look at that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you have glitter and sprinkles and You're happy. so cute and happy. So girly. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Have mercy on our souls. Okay. Back to who, what the fuck the bunny ranch says. So was that a yes to PDA or no to PDA? Boo. I don't oh, like no. Kate. Okay. Creeper. Because people don't do it right. Creepy. Okay. If they take lessons and they can do it after that. Yeah. Delay the orgasm, regardless of which sex act you're engaged in. Hand job, blow job, or sex. Uh, putting off the organ- orgasm will intensify your eventual climax. Well, I mean, we do that every day yeah. on set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're going to say, yeah, yeah that's, that's good advice. I agree with. So boys to men... <laughs> Delay that orgasm. <laughs> really Think about <laughs> football. Think about Margaret Thatcher. All right. <laughs> I don't know. That's You're not old enough. I don't know. We're not even old enough. But I get the reference. Okay. Work up to anal. Definitely. Agreed. Uh, definitely. <laughs> and I think girls, guys, everybody needs anal in their life. That's the answer to everything is anal. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's um, the best diet on but the you face need- of the earth, too. Well, what I was about to tell you guys earlier was I like to get fucked in the pussy first before you put it in the ass and come in my ass. But you need to tell me if you come in the ass because I can't necessarily feel it. Right. And I agree. Like, I need it. I need a morning, heads up. Yeah, the next morning I'm like, oh, Why you came in my ass. Out of me. Oh my yeah. God, asshole. Like yeah. you get the horrible text like, dude, asshole, did you come in my ass? Ha ha ha. Yes, I did. Really? Could have turned me so I could have cleaned that shit Definitely. out. Because literally I would have animated it before I went exactly. to bed so I wasn't cultivating all well, night. Well, you always do that just in case, I think. I, you just assume. I, I am now. Yeah. From now on. Now it's a assume. better safe I'm than just cummed gonna... in the ass. <laughs> do shout the asshole or enema the asshole out after anal sex just to make sure that there's no cum in there. Yeah, you but don't you want know that what? If you're in the general public, you should be wearing a condom if you're having anal sex. Agreed. I agree my personal thing, you know, I just tired of getting blamed for shit. Right? Assholes, wear a condom if you're gonna fuck the dude next door in the ass. Agreed. Yeah, I agree. Or the girl next door in the ass. I agree. If anyone's asshole is in contact with your genitals. <laughs> Period. <laughs> yeah. You don't know where that asshole has been. been. <laughs> That's the problem. Unlike us who do know where the asshole has been. I know where that asshole has been. Not with Rocco Reed, hopefully. Okay. Um, no. Role play. What about role play? I love it. 
Role, I, I love role play. I used to role play with my first husband. I'd be like, pretend like I'm a hooker and you're picking me up. Ooh, I, I should have known. I mean, I, I guess we role play that I to on be set. People. We role play on set every day. But I oh, always yeah. play stupid things. What do you want to play? Like the baby well, I always am the child. Well, not a child. Okay, I'm always Step-daughter. the eighteen year old. Stepdaughter. Oh, so womanly to me. That's because yeah. Well, but like you haven't seen me in pigtails and bows and pink and <laughs> like knee they make me look like a stockings. like an eighteen year old little girl. Well, if you work with me, I'll make you a woman. Okay, do you? <laughs> You'll be in latex. Do I get and- fake eyelashes? I get so excited when I get fake eyelashes on yes. set because no one ever gives me fake eyelashes. Baby, you can have fake eyelashes whenever you <laughs> I get so excited. I'm like, I get big girl makeup. <laughs> I did this one scene for a hustler and they were like, no eyelashes. I'm like, what? Right? I'm like 29. I always wear lashes. Give me lashes. Give me lashes, ho. Yeah. No lashes for you. I'm like, Oops. I hate not having lashes. I do, it's not that I don't like because I have really long eyelashes naturally. I was looking at them; they have, yeah, they have nice they're lashes. Pretty. They're natural, but like I like the lashes because it fills fills it in, and it just makes the eye like oh the God. curvature. Like, I have of the no eye, just eyelashes, so much, like, woo. and I look so much better with lashes on. You know what? You probably have no eyelashes for the same reason I do for wearing lashes. Oh, the for lashes, wearing, yeah. and it pulls your eyelashes out. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, my f- other friend is texting me. You so cray cray. Charlie, I love you. Because you are. He's probably listening. <laughs> dirty old man. Okay. Who's only like 30 something. Okay. Um, okay. So we all agree role playing is good. Yes. Yay. Yes. Okay. Masturbate in front of your man. I yes. love that. Me too. I love watching a man masturbate Me too. too. And then fucking. I prefer to torture though. So you oh, want to masturbate in front of them and they don't get any. They don't get to touch. You no, get that's to it. It says in that corner. Yeah, it says, no, no, no. But it's more of like you go sit over there. Yeah. And, you and if you watch. stand up, that's... I'm stopping. Yeah. I like that. I'm bu- oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Dudes, tell your chicks to yeah. go masturbate and you'll watch and you won't touch. Yeah. But you'll watch. Because it int- it's just intensifies it for both of you. Like, mm-hmm. Both of you are like, because it's like he wants to touch you so bad and you want him to touch mm-hmm. you so bad. Or if you're a lesbian, you want her to touch you and vice versa. Vice versa. And you know what? I think the partner can learn also what gets you off. By forcing them to study what you're doing. Well, not yeah. forcing. By having them study. Well, they're being forced because they can't oh, yeah. take. Yep. They learn. They see what you do. And Squirt if they pay, button. yeah, they find, they find new things about you. They find the squirt button. They can find the squirt button. They can find the squirt button. Oh, God. Okay, it says try light bondage in S&M. Oh, definitely. Light. Heavy bondage. At, at least. <laughs> if you're going to go for the bondage, you need what? the whole shebang. I have a collar, apparently. Should we tuck this collar? Sure. I think so. Hello, Hello, caller. Tell us your name, where you're from, your social security number, your uh, account number, and then I can have some your money. Your zodiac sign. Hi, it's Del- Hi, it's LJ. How are you? LJ, how are you? Good, good. I'm loving you always. Thank you. At least somebody's listening to me. <laughs> I just want to say friends. you're always wonderful, and I'm getting ready to celebrate my birthday next week on Tuesday. <gasps> you have the same birthday as me. Wait, what day yeah. is that? December 17th. Oh, my Duh. Lord. I'm really bugged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know my birthday. <laughs> Yay. 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 So, so Rock. What? What? Sagittarians rock. Yes, they do. Sag. But technically, we're now on Opulus or something like that. Yep. That new sign. Technically, it's, it's sign. on our birthday. I don't know. But we're supposed to be lucky. I know that. Although, I'm yep. not lucky. Mm. And I'm, I'm lucky to be talking to two great ladies. Woo! Yeah, what what in the butt? That should be my saying when I die under my porn name. You're just going to write that on your grave. <laughs> what what in the like butt? <laughs> But what in the butt? Um, any th- questions for Jenna or Samantha Grace? What What has been your uh, your favorite scene, basically? Scene, favorite scene. I can't pick one. That's impossible. Because <laughs> they're that's, all great. That's I love awesome. them for different reasons. I love that, that you love them okay, for different reasons. Okay, how about a, a dream fantasy scene? Oh, I want to do Snow White and the Seven Whores. <gasps> Ooh. I love that. that is my you dream would be scene. such a good Snow White. Yeah, and I want seven bitches because I don't want seven men. So therefore, it would be Snow I White and the seven whores. Well, and, unless you want to do a, your first gangbang scene, you know, in a couple of years from now, and it could be Snow White and the seven, um, and the seven huntsmen. 
No. No, I like the whores. I, I like seven the whores. whores, they rhymes. It's just so perfect. I can't And then I can that. have seven really cute girls. And, oh, and you can be like, amazing. La, 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 la. Oh, and I already have the whole set planned out in my head. I'm going to sing as well. <laughs> Are there squirrels involved? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe we could get Bambi to come along, too. <laughs> Bambi's great. I could do Bambi. <laughs> I'll wear the strap on with Bambi. I'm good. I got Velcro gloves. It's fine. Okay, go. Cool. You got some hoofs? <laughs> oh, God. We're so horrible. I'm going to hell. But at least all my friends will be there. <laughs> I say that I'm going to hell, but at least my friends will be yeah, there. Right? Be great. She's I like, this girl's crazy. Say, All right, we're good. You are wonderful, and keep up the great work. And, Allison, I'll be in contact with you soon. Well, Aww. thanks, LJ. I got to do something for your birthday. Birthday okay, shout out. Or something. I don't know. I'll DM you, okay? Okay. Bye, LJ. Bye-bye. Oh, LJ's my fan friend. He's awesome. My fan You've friend. got a lot of fans. Yeah, friends. it sounds like it. I do. They <laughs> only... They love me, and I, like, appreciate that. And they all call me when I don't have, like, other weird people calling me. Then they all call me to make me feel better about myself. Well, that's good. Shed a tear. Okay. All right. So what were we saying? Light bondage. I don't remember. Light bondage. Oh. <laughs> no, okay. we were saying heavy bondage. Yeah. Well, heavy, we heavy, we heavy. skipped the light. Well, well, like, no. just yeah. go for I, it. I mean, if your girl is a fucking slut like the rest of us in this I'm video. I'm not a slut. I'm a whore. I get paid. There's a difference. Yeah, there is a difference. I, I have to agree. agree. <laughs> I agree on that one. Yes. Um, so we're whores. We're and we whores. Like to get paid but and we in like- my personal life, I get to be a slut. <laughs> okay, yes. I agree on this term. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I, for those people that haven't done any bondage, and your girl is like square, like... Not force. physically actually a square. No, just like, the four <laughs> sided, <laughs> like the four-sided square... Um, In her brain, a though. Handcuff for vanilla, like handcuffs. Oh my god, I had a fan furry friend. handcuffs because furry then handcuffs. it deceives her into it's thinking cute. it's somehow it's cute. cute and cuddly. Yeah, yeah, and like a silk scarf with maybe some squirrels Something on it. Something to tie <laughs> over <laughs> the <laughs> eye. <laughs> I think squirrels might scare them. <laughs> maybe bunnies or Hello bunnies. Kitties. Bunnies. Yeah. Think yes. she likes bunnies or cats. Kitty, pussy, Kitties. you know. Yeah, yes. I got a kitty for your kitty. Yeah, that's like that. something like that. Um, start with the light bondage and then work your way up to the hardcore stuff in which Samantha Grace Live can show oh, you. Oh, yes. Some that's my thing. So if you need her. some pointers, you should visit her site. Yes. She will yes. help you out. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I can help you out in live sessions too. Oh, I Definitely. love that. Definitely. Oh, my God. We got to do it. We Hit her up for all your dumb needs. Yeah, all your dominatrix things. Uh, 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 She's uh, getting all hot and bothered. I am spilling on myself. I do that a lot. I have a like a permanent hole in my mouth, and it's so like, do I. It's called my tongue ring. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I just think whatever you have I drink. A tongue ring? Oh, I had a boyfriend that had a tongue ring, and his parents made him take it out. I was like, he didn't get to lick my vagina first. Oh, I've actually licked a girl who had her clip pierced and they click. It's really funny. You can hear it. You can hear the two of them click, 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 click. It's <laughs> what about a guy that has a Prince Albert? That's um, a cock piercing. I've well, never it depends. I it. would be scared. Anything that is a hoop, I will not lick because I know myself and I will get my no, barbell used, stuck through that and then we uses, will be attached penis that's to mouth. That's what I was thinking. Like, that's scary. <laughs> what if he uses like the half a hook thing? <laughs> then that's fine. I'm just Good, saying if there's have- like a hook, I know myself. I'll get my tongue ring stuck in that and production will have to separate us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be bad. And the poor PA the is not getting paid and enough. Things I don't want on behind the scenes. <laughs> like, Bring no. out the clamps. Oh, chomp, chomp. Lord have mercy. All right, we got another caller. Let's hear what this caller has to say. Hello, caller. This is Hello. Allison. Who's, Hello. Who's this? This is Trisha. How are you guys? Hi, Trisha. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Where are you from? I'm good. I'm actually from Miami, but I live in LA now, and I was just calling to see what y'all are talking about tonight. Um, probably Maybe nothing some. appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> nothing appropriate, huh? Okay, so let's 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 uh let's talk more about that. What exactly are you guys going to, you know, project out there for the evening? What do you suggest someone out in LA should be doing tonight? Ooh. Oh, I'm having a good time. There's lots of Christmas it's Saturday, parties, right? There's so many things to do in L.A. tonight. You have no idea. Oh, my God. Well, if you're looking to oh. go to the Dom sign, I know Bar Sin is open tonight, and they tied me to the ceiling one oh, time. Oh, they're fun. I love... I haven't been there in a while. <laughs> you're right. They're fun. They it's tied fun. me to a ceiling. It was awesome. I got kicked out of there. 
I, how did you? Like, did, I don't even know how you get kicked out of there. there. Um, not wearing we not wearing panties apparently. Oh, what? well, that explains oh, why my friend made yeah, me put her panties on before they tied me to the ceiling. I had to go switch panties. There were some panty switches switching going on. It was actually funny because we went into the bathroom to switch panties and then we ran into two more porn girls in the bathroom and it was just four what? porn girls in Wait, the bathroom together. Wait a minute. Why did you guys have to switch up the panties? Because, I don't get it. Why? Because I was getting tied to the ceiling and I wasn't wearing any panties and apparently that's a rule in the club yep. is that you must have panties on if your vagina is going to be showing which is not wait, a wait. rule I like to adhere to. Me either. I was, it ruined my night. Yeah. Question. Uh, can they be like eye patch panties with your stuff hanging out? Probably not. I think oh, I was wearing a lacy thong, if that helps. <laughs> what else do you guys suggest other than, you know, hanging from the roof without panties? What else? What else, what else should I be doing tonight? Um, God, I don't know. I'm, I'm a loser. Uh, the Hobbit just came out yesterday. You could go see The Hobbit. You go see The Hobbit? You know what? What is today? Saturday? The yes. Colony is always good on Saturday nights. Colony. But what, well, what is that connect? It's, it's a club. Yeah, right. There's in- porn parties there almost every Saturday night. Oh, okay. Oh, and I think I, Dungeon I confuse- West has something going on. Yeah. yeah, I confuse my clubs all the time because I usually am not 100 percent sober by the time I get there, so I don't really know where I am or what it's called. And clearly, I just- she's not driving. <laughs> no, no, no. I use Uber. Uber is amazing. Uber. Yeah. Is- yeah, I think when you show up at a place already drunk, it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on. Um. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I need some suggestions. I'm with my friend Claudia. We're trying to figure out what to do tonight. You've... Shots. What else? Shots. I mean, <laughs> yeah, shots are great. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're in LA. I mean, go down Hollywood. There's well, tons the of thing. amazing okay, go, okay. I, go to I Hollywood am... Boulevard, and you will find something to do. Just walk down it. Just yeah, walk that's down kind of what I, I do. Oh, you know what? There's I guys. A place where people actually dance in this city because I'm from Miami. I don't know if you've ever oh, there's been lots there. Of dancing. I've been to Miami. She's looking for like a club, club, like with the like. Yeah, uh, yeah the colony. No yeah. posing. No posing. You know. Yeah, the colony. colony. Yeah, that's She's right. Fun. The colony. The co- it's it's off Hollywood Boulevard, but it's cool. The uh, colony. The colony. Okay. It's freaking be fun. I've been there. It's great. Another good one is oh, Supper I'm, Club, but I don't like them as much as I like the Colony. Oh, Supper Club is fun, though. Club. Yeah. There's some club. really dancing in the Supper Club, though. Well, well it's well, because it, it starts out as the restaurant and then turns. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, uh, Eden, Club Eden used to What's be What's the one with that's the balls Friday. on the ceiling? That's the, Eden, I think. Up and down... I don't know. I don't know. I, I tell don't, a member. I've, I've gone any. to all the clubs in LA, but I can't tell you which one's which. Me neither. That's kind of my problem. I have pictures. If you want to go look at my Instagram, you can maybe find out where it is because I might have been smart enough to ask somebody before well, I posted this, it. Why don't you guys tell me what is your favorite place in LA? Your favorite place to hang out? Where do porn stars usually frequent in LA? What's the one place? I mean, I go to the beach, but I, I like think the, the beach. outdoors. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but like I said, okay. usually, um, you know what? Jamie Barron. I wonder if he has a website, but he does all the porn parties. Jamie okay. Barron. But I he's think on the Facebook, Colony is the best place Twitter. for porn. I would agree that Colony is probably where the most porn stars will be per quota per yeah. night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. And what can I expect when I go to a porn party? Lots of naked people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all get kind of crazy, and I feel kind of bad for the people that have to deal with us. Oh, I don't. Like, no, they um, won't don't put yourself in this exactly. situation. Because no. they're like, you can't stand on the table like that. I'm like, well, can I show my pussy like this then? <laughs> okay, so if I get down on the floor and just, like, get on my hands and knees, is that cool? <laughs> I mean, like, I've almost had sex on dance floors at the colony before. That would be fun. Yes, it's pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm going to find Jamie Barron's Twitter for you, and you can follow him because he does all the uh, porn, porn promotional parties. parties. I see. What's his Twitter? Right. I don't know. He has, he has an Instagram? Um, I'm sure he does. Jamie all right. Barron. All right, guys. Well, um, I will look him up. I'll go check out the colony and uh, yeah, yeah. have a good night. Thank you for Thank following. You. You're all so right. cute. Bye. Me love you long time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be Asian. I st- I'm, I'm trying to get... I don't know any Asian okay. people that do that. This is how sad. 
Okay, this mouse works on these two monitors, correct? I'm trying to move it over to mine. <laughs> I do that all the time. I also, wow. I use my iPad too much and I try to do it on my computer all the time. I'll try to oh, like I scroll do that too. with my, my son computer. does that, but like, he's five. So I'm like, okay, dude, no, that doesn't work. I'm just retarded then. Yeah, no, I'm just special. <laughs> or I'll have my, like my television that's attached to my computer for webcam and I'll be using that mouse trying to use it on my computer. Oh, and I I'm do like, that. Oh, wait, mm-hmm. your touchpad. Mm-hmm. I do the same mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. I'm so, so... I'm just so too, dorky. like, I don't know, ADD to notice what I'm doing. All right. I think you kind of have to I'm be supposed to talk born. about, like, TMZ and shit, but I don't know if I want to. Well, TMZ actually just released... I know this from last night. Do you, does anyone here watch South Park? Yeah, yeah. I watched Yes, okay. I did the South Park Farm parody. So did you see the one that was on Wednesday? The one about Kim Kardashian? Yeah, I saw. Oh. Photoshop? Oh, it's, no it's way. Oh, my God. You I will think die. It, yeah, pray tell, pray tell. Best episode of the season. Definitely. I would go as far as saying. Uh, but basically, the day that that episode came out, TMZ released a story about Kim Kardashian and her new bathing suit ad. I don't remember what website it was for. Oh, yeah. Or what magazine. Basically, it was Photoshopped to hell. So they released, no yeah, way. she has a new photo set out of her in a bikini and apparently it is badly photoshopped, like obviously photoshopped. Oh, and no. South Park just did an episode about how Photoshop is ruining young girls' self-image. It is. It I is. Agree. I agree. I agree. I am fine with Photoshop going away. Me they too. Can but go you away. Know what? You yeah. look like your pictures. Exactly. I don't need Photoshop. And, and if, what sucks is people think they look at your pictures. Oh, I'm fat. Well, I photoshopped. <laughs> I'm fat, so I'm good with Photoshop. <laughs> You're not <laughs> fat. No, I'm like 20 pounds overweight right now, you guys. Oh my God, if you saw porn pictures of me in the beginning of porn and then now. I have yeah. seen both you know and you, you are you not more- fat. This you- shirt covers up. Oh, it's me. all in your tits. That. What? What is? No there's fat. nothing there. There's nothing. No, You're no, no. delusional. And you know what? As someone the same age as you, what happens is you start out kind of littler and you become more womanly you get more boobs you get more butt it goes to the Fuck right places shit. sweet so i have something to look forward to then yeah more boobs no mine are enhanced they're paid for mine are too but i think mine even got bigger though i built mine all by myself but that kind of fits my genre oh she's so cute i want to put you in my pocket okay okay all right we have another caller caller what's up hi there this is uh phil calling from glendale I feel, um, I feel. Hi, I just feel. want to say you guys really are. <laughs> this is my favorite show of the week. Oh! You guys, you are you are all the most talented ladies I've ever heard. Because we're drunk. Because I'm always wasted. You really wasted. have a future. You have a future in broadcast. Oh, thank Aww. you. I have a new vivid radio show. Yay! Yay! Monday from whatever 4 to 5. Do, whatever you do, I don't know how much you guys I just practice did a radio show the other prepare day. ahead of time, but it's obvious you do a lot of preparation and that you ladies are very intelligent. No, Aww, I just have a schedule and a timeline and I just Google, sh- I Google shit while we're on here. So well, I'm like I half say, listening. I only have one word. Well, I've, geniuses. Uh, also, uh, ladies, I was wondering um, what it's like, the difference between uh, fucking an animal like a goat or a horse or pig even versus uh, a a man because I know a lot of you have done all that kind of stuff I have never done I've never done that I never will (laughs) yeah it's a little what about uh, I know well I know like as a kid you got girls experimented so like maybe uh, like a teddy bear like a Doberman (laughs) a what what like a like a Doberman or uh you know, Shih Tzu. No, or- but I, I have, have a no funny dogs. story. No animals. No. No, funny no, no. Funny story. Oh, dude, Jamie's, or Jamie's I know. I, totally I've been watching that for a while and been them. very jealous. Okay, okay the other far. question. Can I tell the you a funny story? I, had is, I read a lot about how a lot of you actresses um, were abused as children. I just want to know. That is not true. true. I want to know what relative did it. High five. I want to know what relative did it and exactly how old you were. Dude, oh, you're kind of kinky. I want to know what's up with you. I was anyway. 15 when I lost my virginity, and I... I was in a snowstorm at the time. The guy really? walked seven miles in the snowstorm to have sex, so I, just, I deemed him worthy. It wasn't wow. Your dad, was it? I was 17, and it was just, you know, a boyfriend of mine that 
you know, it was the right time in person. It, yeah. it wasn't an uncle or your dad. No. No, no yuck. My, my father and no male in my family has ever been physically or sexually aggressive. I had a great me. dad. Everyone's like, every girl rocks. has daddy issues. I'm like, I had a when great you say, dad. When you say he great, away, you mean great in, when you say great, you mean great in bed? See, he's a troll. Mm, yeah. No. Let's. Okay. Well, I think we're I'm just done. saying that's. That's what's out there. That's what people talk about. I'm just. I'm, I'm sure that's what they say, but that does not I wish, make it the reality. I, I wish it was true because that would make a great book and would sell a lot of copies. My memoirs. Right. I know, right? Well, I'll be Jeremy, your, I'll be your little guy. boy if you want. <laughs> Jeremy in bag is laughing. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a funny story. There's this chick in high school. She, I should tell her, say her name, but you then should. I'm not going to. No. You've had her first name, come on. Her first name is Alana. You know, ladies, I have to go. I work. I'm a bagger at Ralph's, and I'm actually at the. I'm actually at the end of the counter. I'm oh no! Out. Don't get in trouble. I need go to bag your spots. groceries. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. We cool. called that one up. Wow, that was awesome. I love the crazy stalkers. Okay, so for okay. the for the the lady that called in, um, it's Tori Taylor's birthday at the Colony tonight. Um, yes. That address is seventeen four three North Quanga Boulevard. That's Hollywood nine hundred twenty eight is the zip code. So nine zero zero two eight. Um, I hear myself coming back because I Jeremy hear you left. Too. And he's totally left the thing on. And hello, hello, is hello? someone there? Hey, hi. Uh, I, I'm trying. I was trying to figure out this uh, how to lower the volume. Uh, and uh, listen, I, I didn't know if you guys were on or not. Because do you have a, a name? From the computer to the phone. Anyway, how you doing? Hi. Oh, I was nice. like, I hear your feedback. Hi. Jeremy left, and I like uh-huh. our, our guy in What's the back. What's your name? I'm Will. Hi, hey, Will. Will. Hey, how you doing? How you guys doing? Good. 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 How are you? I'm very well. I'm very well. I'm I'm calling from New York where it's fucking freezing. Ah, I can tell by the accent. Yep, New York. Brooklyn? It's ridiculous. I'm calling because I was just listening to that retard, Phil. That guy sounds like a fucking, like, perverted. Yeah! Yeah. He's the one that's going to molest his daughter or niece. (laughs) Exactly. Jesus That's what I was Christ. thinking. I'm like, don't feed the troll. Oh my god. Oh my We're god. A rapist. I know. Right? <laughs> Dobermans. What? 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 What the fuck? What? I mean, I don't understand. This guy. He sounded like a fucking fifty-five year old, bald. Like he hasn't shaved his balls in fucking five years. And- oh, that's scary. <laughs> Jungle. Do you shave your <laughs> that balls? Is scary. Do you have smooth balls? Do you Would you get them balls? lasered? That is scary. <laughs> anyway, I was just I, I was just prompted to call because one of I, I wasn't sure who which one of you guys was talking about losing their virginity in a snowstorm. That said, would be me. That is like, Jenna J. Ross. I'm from Boston. I'm like, if that helps you, put that in perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I figured. I figured you weren't from uh, San Diego. If you lost your virginity in a snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I figured you were East Coast, Pennsylvania, you know. No, Chicago, I'm from Boston, like therefore that. you hate me because you're from New York and a Yankees fan. No! I, why would you say I hate you? That's only stupid fucking baseball idiots. Oh, well, what's your sport then? Fucking and sucking. That's my sport. That's yeah! Sport. Okay. That's a real man sport go. right there. <laughs> sucking pussy fucking, and fucking yeah, pussy. Thank pussy, you. Finger and ass. Fucking, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Who the fuck wants to hang out with guys talking about other guys' balls and shit? Come on. Do you shave your balls? Anyway. We do have to know. That's a, you know, You you were the one that brought up balls into this discussion. Balls were not a part of this. No, 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 no. Do you shave your balls? Yes or no? No, I was, but I'm saying... (laughs) Ooh, not anymore, so you have some peach fuzz. (laughs) I'm so giggly right now. We get very distracted by the snowstorm. I I, I was like, wait a minute. That's why I had to call. That that kind of perplexed me. The fact that he walked seven miles each direction in the snow? Well, there's a, well, I have a theory about out? that. How did he find out you were there? Well, did he have oh, like, okay. a snow dog no, no, or something? No, 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 <laughs> no. Yes, um, he had a snow dog. I... I I don't know if you know Massachusetts. I'm from Lexington and Concord. They're both kind of rural-esque towns. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah, I know. I know Mass. I know Mass. Okay. So um, it happened to be, I think it was Super Bowl weekend. 
And uh, there was a big blizzard, so we didn't have school. So I was spending the night at one of my friend's houses, who he knew. I actually went to preschool with this guy, which is a little strange. <laughs> but um, anyway, <laughs> he he was. We were AIMing, basically. I don't know if you. <gasps> I remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. talking about. Yeah, it. I, oh we were God. AIMing, and I, basically, what I said to him. Yeah, message American online. Instant yeah. messaging. Hey, can I tell you something before, before you go on? Sure. That's how I lost my virginity, jerking off to that AIM, like that little ring. Ding. You remember that? Ding. Ding. Yes. 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 Okay, when I was like 15, yeah. I had a 30-year-old guy come and eat my pussy, and then I was like, okay, thank you, bye. That's actually <laughs> how I met my first boyfriend. We actually started, we knew wait each other, wait, but wait, we started wait, talking Wait a minute, go her. back. <laughs> well, hold, hold on, rewind, rewind. When you were 15, you had a 30-year-old guy come in your pussy? No, no lick, lick. My, my pussy. I wouldn't let him fuck me, but I let him lick my pussy. She got eaten out. Your pussy. Yeah. I came, and then I was like, okay, thanks, bye. Ooh, Ooh, I like, like that. Uh, here you go. Have a have a handy wipe. Wipe your lips. I'll see you later. Yeah. No, no, no he didn't get, get it. He didn't get a handy wipe. No. I was just like, okay, I'm going home now. We met Bye. at my pool. Like, because I lived in a community that had a pool. It was like a, you know, yeah, nicer. If you, if you wanted to fuck with him, you would have made him wipe his mouth because he really wanted to go home with the pussy juice on his lips. So I bet he did. Ooh, that's, <laughs> I like that you. Maybe. Well, he went Maybe. home with the pussy juice on his lips. He didn't wash his mouth for yeah. a week, I bet. Ew. That's every thirty year old man's fantasy. So 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 continue. I'm sorry, I cut you off with the with the uh, Um with so the, uh, no I was virginity. Yeah, I was AIMing him and basically I told him, I was like, Well, you know, if you wanna come over here, sure we can hook up and do stuff. I didn't actually think the dude was gonna walk seven miles in the snow, but apparently I underestimated him. <laughs> I love it. You know, this story so gets so good. You told him, you told him if he comes over here, we can do stuff like we use. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, like I did. But it, it, in my defense, like there was three feet of snow on the ground already. Like, and it wasn't looking like he was going to let up. I didn't honestly think he would walk that far, but he did. And right. then, um, yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Then stuff happened and I ended up locked in my friend's basement and had to wake her parents up at four o'clock in the morning to get let out. So inevitably okay, blew my okay. own cover. So, okay, yeah. so two things, two things. Have you ever watched to Catch a Predator? Most of those guys get lured in through a AIME. They're like, bing! And this then, was before to Catch a Predator. This was Catch a Predator. Ten years 15. ago. This is ten years ago. To Catch a Predator didn't exist yet. <laughs> Ten years ago, the catch and predator existed. Yeah, sure, they sure it did. It wasn't, Not when you're it fucking another fifteen-year-old kid that you've known since you were four. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's it, it, wrong. It wasn't. It wasn't. I'm sorry. I went to preschool with him. It's not. No, like I'm I meant like a catch the a catch the exactly. predator if he's known you since you were four. <laughs> he has known me since I was four. Like, no, he wasn't. He wasn't thirty. No, he yeah, was. I think you're getting the stories mixed up. Yeah, I was I was making a reference to the fact that he walked for seven miles. Yes, there are he did. fucking guys that'll walk like fifty miles for a piece of pussy. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they probably would. They probably would. I I've don't actually... understand the point of that statement. No, he's just saying that he 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 gives. But you, you know, know what? I went out to the guy that walked seven miles in the yeah. snow well, at actually, fifteen. It's Fourteen miles round trip, but. Uh, <laughs> But this was, but this was, this is in Massachusetts where there's absolutely nothing going on at that time. Yeah, well, late nineties, yeah. early two thousand, there ain't shit going on. Exactly, this is before the iPhone. Well, and this was no, in Lincoln, I mean, Massachusetts, which literally right. consists of cow pastures. So right, yeah, exactly. I get it, but exactly. like. At exactly. the same time, I was kind of naive because I was sheltered as a child, so I didn't actually think the kid would walk in a snowstorm. I thought he was smarter than he was. <laughs> but, apparently not. Was no. Apparently, was he, the cock still like not frostbitten or anything? No, he was fine. He made it there and back. I just got in trouble and was forced to take Plan B because I locked myself in the basement and didn't think about the fact that the giant footprints would lead up to the house in the snow. Oh, I got in trouble for something similar when I was younger. Oh, it's yeah. like when you live in a snowy place, you always forget about the footprints. Like, yes. I no, snuck a boy you, into my house. You got to pull the, the, the 101 Dalmatian bit and, like, wipe the footprints it off. Doesn't Come work, on. It doesn't work I like that. that. It just then looks I'm from like California. It does. It does. <laughs> I'm from California. We don't have fucking snow. So I don't know. It's, it only works if, like, you get three feet on top of it because then it fills in the holes. Yeah. But uh, you can't predict how it's going to snow, which is the problem. 
Snow's That's pretty a, complex. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it it uh, kind of fucks your life up majorly when you're having I, those late night calls. That these fucked up experiences uh-huh. in the back have led you to do, you know, to be interested in sex in a way that, you know. How is this fucked up? Ourselves. This is really normal with your 15 years old. And <laughs> I had sex when I was 15. Yeah. Look at me now. <laughs> Almost every woman I know, not in porn, has had sex, sex. between 15, 14, 16. That's normal. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think guys tend to not get laid until they're a lot later in life, like I college. Think so. Like between 17, 18, 19. Yeah. Guys tend to be late bloomers. Hello? Hey, you, you guys still there? Yes. Yeah, yeah we're, we're here. still here. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. So so I was curious, do you think that, I, and, I, and I know it was just your your experience in the snow song, but did, did all the, the rest of you have, like, wacky? Hello, hello, hello. It was wacky. But did you guys have, like, experiences like that that maybe you would say eventually led you to, you know, liking sex or wanting to perform and, and you know, as an entertainment uh, 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 star in, in that in that arena? I don't know, honestly. I don't know what's different. I just kind of fell into it. There was a gradual honest. progression to there it. Is. I don't think we woke up when we were 15 and went, I, okay, when I turn 18 or however old you were when you got into porn, I'm going to go make porn. It, yeah. like, it progresses we, to this point. It's, it's a gradual progression. Yeah. Anyway, I started out wanting you, to thank be you for calling because there's another person calling and we can hear them. Hello. This is kind of weird. Yeah, we Hello? hear you. Hold Hello. On. How are you? We have two. I'm well. My name's Teresa. I'm calling from Cleveland. Cleveland, hey. my hometown. That's excellent. Oh, you ladies are lovely. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. I can't understand what's okay, going Cleveland, on. Cleveland, go ahead. Yes, I just want to say my name is Teresa. You ladies are lovely. Oh, thank oh. you. Oh, thanks. I have a problem and I really need help. Okay, what's okay, your what's problem? It? Now, I'm eight and a half months pregnant. And I know that's in your line of work. Accidental pregnancies do happen. And I was wondering if you could suggest a clinic or a doctor who could get rid of the baby. I know it's a little late, but it has not been born. It's still in me, and I'd like to get rid of it. I want to abort at eight and a half months. That's I'm probably the same troll. To, I'm, it's I'm probably... Out it's the Ralph's bagger. It's the Ralph's bagger. Unless there is a medical condition going on with you in which your life is at risk, no doctor will perform an abortion on you this late. So yeah. Pregnancy. I can suggest adoption as your alternative option if you do not feel you're capable of raising this child. Well, no, it's just so we don't want it. We don't want it. It's, it came, the, the, the baby came from it's a guy. making love. I was doing my own, porn, my own adult pornography. So... He, Unfortunately, not- because you didn't choose to deal with this situation when you first found out you were pregnant, I don't think there's really anything you can do to eliminate the pregnancy. It's okay. But like I, I said, person. okay. Good. Yeah, I don't know who that was, but that was, that's the question. Yeah, that's clearly that. a man trying well, to be a here's woman. Here's the thing. I'm not a licensed physician, and I can't give you any legal advice either. But bottom line is, is you're eight and a half months pregnant. Bitch, plan B is the next day. <laughs> exactly. You can get an abortion up to what? Eight weeks? Three uh, months? Three months. The latest? Weeks. But yeah, because of everything. After that point, it becomes if your life is at risk. If your life is at risk. Certain, or if there's something wrong with the baby. only in certain states. Exactly. And, only, and if there's something wrong, wrong with, with the, the baby. baby. Exactly. Which requires genetic testing, which you can't do before month five. Yeah, we're going to do a commercial real quick before we have to leave. Okay. Hey, this is Alicia Pleasure from Triple X Porn Star Radio on the All Pleasure Network. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my new best friend, Maya Toys. They come in four fabulous colors, Marsha, which is hot pink, Papora, which is purple, Confetti, which is yellow, and Astral, which is blue. And out of all the toys they have, two of them are my favorite. The first one is the twisty silicone vibrator with the clit stem. It just tickles me in all the right places. The other one is the silicone dong. It has a suction cup on the bottom so you can take it into the shower with you. It goes all over with you. Put it on a mirror and just go and have fun with it. So I hope their toys become your best friend just like they're my best friends now. Go to Maya Toys, M-A-I-A, toys.com, and you, they can tell you where and exactly you can buy them. I hope you enjoy. and I heard you were still paying for adult content radio programming. I'll let you in on a little secret. It's Triple X Porn Star Radio on the All Pleasure Network. You never get charged a monthly fee. You can listen to it seven nights a week from 7 to 9 Eastern Standard Time. The hosts say and do whatever they want. 
not to mention the hosts are some of the hottest adult stars in the industry. You can listen live on triplexpornstarradio.com or catch the show on any major podcast stations. So if you love free stuff, give Triple X Porn Star Radio a listen. All right, we have another <laughs> caller. We only have a few minutes. It's Jackson from I don't know where. Uh, Hello, yeah, Jackson. Yeah, this is Jackson. This is Jackson calling from San Diego. Great show, ladies. Great show. Hi. Um, hey. I'm going to be real quick. I know you're running out of time. Uh, I respect what you ladies do, and I, I, it is a profession, and I think what you do are your artists and the beautiful actresses, and thank you for that. Now, I want to, um, I've got a uh, young daughter. She's four years old. Um, I'm hoping that when she turns 18, she will follow in your steps and get into the business. Um, I want to know, first of all, some ways to encourage her. Uh, as far as uh, my wife and I were thinking, perhaps, of uh, getting her nipple piercing on her fifth birthday. You know what? Just keep uh, being creepy like that, and I'm sure that'll encourage her. Okay, I can't deal with any more creepy. What's today. going on today? I don't no, know. It's it probably me. I, I know. know. It could be me. Jesus. I mean, we've never had callers like that before. That's, oh. that's crazy. A combined guestness yes. right now. I know. Holy shit. the dynamics between the three of us. Wow. We had and the trolls. fact that you're smoking weed back there must have, they're like, we're going to fuck with Jeremy. The weed demons came out? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Like, that Apparently. Was... Like, wow. seriously, what is the deal with that? <laughs> wow. I think it's the same person, like, calling. Yeah, just calling on repeat. Do you have caller ID in there? No. Uh, yeah, I have caller ID. Is it all coming from the same number? I wasn't paying attention because I was smoking weed. <laughs> You're supposed to be at looking the very at least Check to see if it's all the same area code because then we'll know if it's uh, one person. It, it was all phones. LA numbers, but I think it was different numbers. Yeah, but that doesn't mean the person's not walking around like, hey, give me your phone. Maybe. Or like going on pay phones if they exist. No, pay phones don't exist. The pay phones, phones only exist in the courthouse. So they're in the courthouse. They're There's there for one. The criminals to make they're phone there for the lawyers. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Someone's picking up what I'm putting down. Okay. All right. Um, so anything else interesting other than the crazies calling us? I don't know. That's pretty awesome, actually. That was pretty awesome. Yeah. Our call-in number is 800-839-562. Those are probably all my ex-husbands or their it relatives. could be anybody. Fuck with me. I mean, the three of us together. Yes. I'm sure we what have a quite great, a pool of trolls. You know what? It's kind of funny, though. It's yeah. kind of made good, like... Playful banter. It has. It has. It's made it interesting. Okay, sure. I don't know the Triple X Porn Star Radio schedule, which I don't remember if what's changed, but Monday's Kelly Payne, Tuesday's Ed Powers, Wednesday's Alicia Pleasures, Thursday is Mistress C, Friday is Amberlynn, Saturday is me and Kimber, who's not here today because she's getting her boobs redone. And Sunday is Fun Day, and I don't know who that is, but I know Ginger Lynn has a show at some point so you should probably listen and whatnot you are listening to skidrowstudios.com and all that fun stuff these girls are going to plug their websites and tell me what their favorite i don't know i already asked that question just our just, favorite our favorite ah uh, what are the two items you would bring on a desert island we're not going to do that because we don't have time so shit to get plug, myself off of it yeah, yeah. <laughs> batteries and a satellite Walkie talkie phone. Satellite phone. Yeah. Satellite phone works. Satellite sure, phone. Yeah, just because satellite phone and my Hitachi. And oh, the guy from Lost that I would fuck, Sawyer. Which one? Sawyer? Oh. Mm. I've never seen Lost. So. Wow. Ooh. Have they it's done on Netflix. Lost porn? Oh, they probably have. We need to do Lost Porn. I am totally down with going to lost an porn. island. I would like a porn island. That would be we awesome. We need to do Lost Porn. Yes. 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 You could be Kate. Or Claire. I dye my hair blonde. I'm cool with being Claire because she gets cool shit and fucks people. Yeah. She's pregnant too, though. I can just... Yeah, Claire is fucking hot. Okay. I don't want to be Kate. She was annoying and whiny. <laughs> Kate gets to fuck two dudes, though. At the same time? It's a porn parody. You can do that. <laughs> 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 All right. What's your uh, Twitters and websites? Um, my website is samanthagracelive.com. See me in latex. And my Twitter is at Samantha Grace. Oh my God, we've had so many crazy callers today. Okay, my Twitter is Allison Moore XXX. My website is Allison Moore XXX.com. My Insta gay or Instagram <laughs> what? is that's what I call it because they're gay. They won't let you post any like thing dirty. I kind of cheat a little bit. I'll just put a thong on and then take a picture of my ass and go, look, my pussy's covered. It's fine, right? It's implied. 
I get away with it. If you do, more power to you. Anyway, it's Allison underscore more XXX because some fucking hoe has some Allison more XXX or Allison more bitches. And the person that owns the Allison more Twitter is a Bible hugger. So if she wants to give that up, I'd be... There's a whole organization that buys our shit and like buys our like faith. I I own all of my stuff. Right before I got in, I bought everything. Like before anyone knew who I was, I was like, I'm not giving anyone creative control over my name. I'm buying all of it. I own every single Jenna J. Ross, but I don't do anything with them. I just own all the websites. That's so smart. That's the way to So here's the suggestion to the dude that wants his daughter to be in porn. Buy her fucking domain shit first. Yeah, go buy her domain name now. Yes, and all her Twitters, and as every social media starts coming up, you buy it. Yeah. Register it. Own it. Own it. Yeah. There you go. For your four-year-old. You fucking pedophile. All right. (laughs) Um, Jenna J. Ross is her Twitter. My Twitter is Allison Moore XXX. You can find links to everything you will ever need from my Twitter. Yes. Yeah, that's really the way to yeah. go. Go to Twitter uh, and it's from there, my URLs. It goes out. Do we have what? It's my URLs. It's I T S M Y U R L. Yeah, it has the whole list of all your different things I have on it. it. Dude, it's fucking rocks. I need that. Yeah. Yeah, no. Go to, go to my uh, Twitter and you'll see it on there. Rock on. Okay, cool. Rock Dude, on with your cock on. As we get off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bad props to the guy that ro- walked 14 miles round trip just to fuck this girl. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. He created a monster. He just didn't know it. And mad props for the 30-year-old that now has made me like older men because it kind of sucks because I'm 29 and now older men that I like are in their 40s. 40 is great, though. I like 40s. I, I was going after 40, you know, when I was like 25. Me I too. can't. I can't do anyone close to my age. I'm always late 30s. First early husband 40s. was six months older than me. Second husband was 20 years older than me. And which one did you last with longer? I'm going to guess second. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> bit longer. Second. All right, I think we're out. Bye. Bye. Listen to Skid Row Studios anytime, anywhere with the Skid Row iPhone app for your smartphone. Skid Row Studios. Real internet radio. <laughs> Hello, I'm Julianne Good, the host of Psych One on One, live on Mondays from 7 to 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Every week I talk with psychology experts as we explore the issues that matter to you. Anything from reducing anxiety to getting better Z's at night. Call in at 800-893-9562 to ask us questions and give us your opinions. We'd love you to join us. We're here to make psychology understandable and give you the information you need to make your life better. And if you can't listen live, our shows are also archived and available for downloading from iTunes. And we're at www.skidrowstudios.com. Join us, please. Many have tried to replicate, many have tried to imitate, but there's only one true underground show. You have called it the real deal in underground extreme music. The Jimmy Cab's very manic show only on Skid Row Studios every Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Skid Row Studios.